Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I am Jessica. I also go by I Sneeze Stars online and places like TikTok and Instagram and all that fun stuff. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign for tonight. Um, quickly, I will run you through our shows and then let my players introduce themselves. So Monday night, obviously, the Iowan Adventures. I am missing my middle finger nail. I just realized that. Okay, cool. Um... Tuesday night, State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign uh, that starts tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. EST by uh, Cottlesworth. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and jammed by Talarius Game Master. And alternating Sundays, we have Rumors of Magic by our very own James Mazrix24. Uh, don't forget to uh, join our Discord, follow us on TikTok or like YouTube or something. And um yeah dan can you just like talk now i can talk i'm good at talk i talk good uh hi everybody i'm dan you can find me as the speed of candy on all of the various internet places tonight i will be damascus silver the half elf bard warlock who um just got back from visiting a goddess and found some stuff out and everything worked out fine and there will be no consequences to any of the decisions he makes ever ever and it's fine exactly uh, let's move, uh, over, which one, this way, over to Caro. Hello, I'm Caro. Um, I am, uh, imaginary Caro on TikTok, corner Caro elsewhere on the internet. Today I will be playing, uh, Gilly Ghislaine, the, uh, water Jazzy barbarian who just got a new cool room. James? Hey, Hi, I'm James. I've been mentioned twice already. I think that's cool. Um, I am Mazrix to most people on the internet, or Mazrix24, uh, in any notable places they can find me. I'm one or the other. Uh, tonight, I should only be playing, thanks to a lucky dice roll, <clears throat> Varian Arbor, uh, the smarmy storm sorcerer that shares a body with, uh, Art of Days Arc, our slow-talking, normal human druid, who I typically play. So there's a bit of a disparity between the two of them, and uh, one's a fast talker, and he's a little bit more uh, fun to listen to, I I, I think. So <laughs> uh, stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be a fun time, and we're going to roll some dice. Actually, about that, James, uh, I may need you to be both of them for a second. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. As you can I'll, see, I'll I can let switch. you know. I'll let you hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We'll get there. Uh, I have to have a conversation with myself. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> it's time they meet. I, I'm just saying, I may have practiced this in my head. But you oh still my don't God, have to throw me under and the I'm bus. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much. Okay. 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 Last time in AA, episode 60 The Cunning. The party press onwards towards the dense jungle in Rhea, determined to find a Rev's mother, Ella. Suddenly, an enraged Tamina materialized before them, gripping a furious Beloth tightly. Tamina demanded an explanation from Beloth about why Faiza was no longer under her control. Beloth reluctantly, reluctantly revealed that Atma was now Atma now resided within Faiza, but had previously inhabited a forgotten former former we're not talking today former party member. Uh, as the group, as the argument escalated, to, I'm just going to take a second. I'm just going to. As the argument argu fuck this shit, as the <laughs> argument escalated, Samina disappeared ominously, leaving a haunting warning of impending destruction. After more traveling, the party chose to take a much needed rest. Once in the condo, Gilly explored her room for the first time, a beautiful beach haven, and the and uh, a much needed moment of frivolity ensued. Damascus insisted that Winter guide him to the ethereal plane to seek answers from Beloth. There, Damascus and Winter confirmed the existence of a pink-haired elven time wizard who had once accompanied them, and Beloth revealed the location of Areb's mother. However, she cautioned them against, against going there as it held the power to erase their very existence from Iowan. Meanwhile, during this encounter, Areb slipped into an unsettling an unsettling slumber and encountered 
the cunning for the first time. It seemed that the cunning had been prodded into contacting Erev by Inimus, a soul that he had acquired in an attempt to manipulate the party. Ultimately, Arev learned that the cunning's desires had in learned what the fuck this goddamn shit today. Ultimately, Arev learned of the cunning's desires and engaged in <laughs> flirtation and, you know, some sexually charged moments occurred. Um leading to a curious pair of golden glasses manifesting on Arev's chest while he slept. So, after that monstrosity that I just read, uh, Arev, as you... God, I have to read more. As you... As your meeting with the cunning ends, you feel yourself begin to drift into an oddly... An oddly... It's not what I'm looking for. A dream. But you're not alone. And you can tell that. Um, and here's what happens. As you begin to dream, visions begin to sort of manifest. And a handsome, green-haired elf fills your mind. You can see him well-muscled, short hair, uh, bright green eyes except what should be a very attractive elf is just horribly frightening his expression enraged his temper hot enough to burn the world down around you this vessel that you had been placed in hadn't even known you were within them they didn't know why he was so angry with them they had never stood even a sliver of a chance against half your son he was so very angry with you. Vara felt Belloth's pull against her soul in the sun. And the sun goddess tried to force her into, back into the orb of spirits. But it wouldn't work. Vara was not going to be controlled any longer, nor would she be ordered to obey. Without Tamina, without Atna, Without bomb, Ion was no longer her home. It was incomplete and she was no longer willing to be part of it. Even as she fought against Beloth's pull, the lush jungle of Rhea could still give her enough power to pause. She remembered this place. Once upon a time, she had stumbled around, she had stumbled upon a soul crying out for help, stuck in a tree unlike any other on Ion. The tree trunk was made of shimmering golden wood and its leaves a deep velvety green. Vara was curious as she approached the tree, wondering if that spirit was still inside it. She placed her hands upon it and to her surprise, she felt a pulse, like a heartbeat deep within the trunk. The soul was still there, trapped in the tree's wood. Weak and scared, it had been trapped there for, for what felt like an eternity. It whispered and cried for freedom. Using what was left of his of her powers, she carefully carved a way into the trunk and embedded herself within it. The soul belonged to a red tiefling named Varian. He was not in a good state. He had realized a long time ago that he was unable to escape this tree and he was stuck. His spirit forever entwined with the trunk and the branches. And this time, she would not abandon him. Vara and Varian began to grow in perfect harmony together. As they basked in the warm summer sun, the scent of damp earth and the buzz of cicadas that filled the air. Around them, the tall trees rustled in the wind. The chorus of bird songs echoed through the canopy. The trees grew and life flourished together they formed a connection to the tree. And as Vara felt trapped, and as Vara felt the trapped soul's energy merge with her own, she knew that their spirits would be forever bound to each other and to this place. An ancient understanding moved between them, commun communication without words, but it seemed as if it was an extension to their souls. Vara knew that her time was limited 
and soon she would have to leave while the other remained brooded in place. Time passed and suddenly there was a familiar tugging on her essence. It was time for another cycle. She was being separated from him once more. She said goodbye to her newfound companion and promised him that she would return for him. And then she was gone. Arev, as you mm. watch all this happen, that feeling that you're not alone begins to become stronger and stronger and stronger until you hear a very sing-songy Irish voice beside you as he, you know, stands beside you and is like, well, now you've seen it, and Varian's beside you. You guys are meeting for the first time. Arev stands there at the foot of the tree that he has spent most of his youth in and around, playing in the Emerald Basin, uh, which is the lake just beyond the uh, the breadth of this tree. It's not too far from its roots. And he, he looks up in the branches and without looking back, Arev's hand, right hand, instinctively reaches out beside him and just folds in the space of variants interlocking his fingers because he didn't need to look. He just already knew where Varian was. <clears throat> and he looks at the bark of the gnarled tree and he says to Varian behind him, You know, I can't count how many sleepless nights I walked these shores and found my way back to these roots and these branches. This I was shocked that this this tree this tree of ancient whispers that everybody talked about all this time had it had so much significance when when they talked about it that it whenever i asked whether people actually heard the whispering they all said it was silent and i i never understood that but maybe that's because i already had you Ah, oh, you did that. So you know that, uh, come what may, I've been with you this entire time, huh? I mean, I know that now. Not that I... Whatever happens when you... When you take control out there, Varian. I, I won't lie, it's, it's scary. Do you think I haven't been... Looking out for your best interests or something. For God's fuck's sake, Mr. to tell you what I'm doing. And for the first time, like a rev turns and faces Varian. And do I, do I see him? You do. Yeah. He is, you know, I mean, you can describe him if you like. <laughs> so a, a rev turns and in front of him is this about oh, five foot ten, five foot eleven, wiry skinny red tiefling with uh, a, a brilliant white smile uh, these piercing blue eyes two horns that are swept across his head with uh, I, I believe Arian had white hair the, 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 like a shock of messy white hair and as he looks at him and this wry grin that passes across his features a, a rev rubs his own stubbled jaw and feels the scars on his faces and goes, Buck, you're a lot younger than I thought you'd be. Aww. 
Well, I, you don't have to go making it weird, man. It's it's not anything that I would have. It's, I'm, I'm older than you. Fuck, I'm fifty thousand years old. Man. Don't judge a don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Poor kid. I, well, maybe an experienced like your soul may be older than I am, Varian. But you, who you are, I how. How did you do it? How did I do what? I do, do you're, you're weirding me out. I read. <laughs> so there's something uh, you're asking me very, very weird questions. Why? I'm sorry. I and he like rips Varian's hand a little harder. How are you so much the same? And Varian pauses and kind of like looks a little confused. He goes, the same. I'm well, if you'd known me in life, I was very different than this. Varian, stop deflecting. I, I've i spoken with your sister. I, I know that much of who you are now is exactly who you were. And how... roll, me, roll me an insight check on Varian right there. <laughs> insight on myself. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Roll an inside check on Varian. Uh, and you can have him roll a de- uh, deception check if you want. Oh, no. Because you know he's a lying <laughs> son of a bitch right there. Yeah, that's that's the thing he's really good at. Uh, so insight was a 27. Deception was a 21. You know he's lying. You can tell. I think I, as as Varian starts sort of like deflecting and doing his typical like trying to get away from the scenario, Arev drops, tugs on his arm and pulls and Varian loses his balance a little. He goes, what? what? And he like starts to fall as Arev just wraps his arms around his shoulders. And Arev's a little taller. Arev's around like 6'1", six, six, uh, which is pretty tall for a human. But this... 34 year old human man just wraps this 20 something year old tiefling up in his arms and just like tightly locks where like the those those forearms and biceps that have been honed from years of archery just sort of like lock in behind this scrawny little tiefling shoulders and he ruffles his hair and goes I don't I don't care why you're with me Varian but if anybody ever tries to harm you, they'd have to go through me first. Well, shit, yeah, it's your body. That's exactly what he thought. He is, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> and Varian says under his breath, well, shit, yeah, of course, it, it, it's your body. They'd have to go through, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Arev starts to kind of laugh. He goes, <laughs> oh, fuck, you are funny. They weren't kidding. I, uh... It's too bad we don't get to do this more often. And with that, you're going to begin to wake. And when Varian awakes, give me give me a charisma um, a charisma check for not for Varian. Oh. For Arev. Oh, that is a Different score. Yeah. I'm gonna click on over. That's a ten. That's a ten. That's, That's a actually 10. not bad. That's not bad. Hang on. Okay, yeah. Um, you can't speak to him. Arev can't speak, but Varian can feel you around now. And you get you get the feeling that maybe. Someday soon, you might be able to just talk to each other hey, from either side. Progress. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, Arev, or Arev, Varian, you also wake up with a pair of golden glasses on your chest. 
No, fuck the day. What, 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 what are we doing? Oh, Jesus, Arev, do you have to go kiss and tell? <laughs> I feel like you get a sense of amusement from Arev. Like, mm-hmm. Anyways, I suppose you want me to keep this private, huh? Okay. Uh, and he sort of like tucks it under his shirt and goes, I need a fucking shower. <laughs> uh, you, I guess, disappear off into the bathroom to, you know, get yourself ready for the morning. As you do so, uh, you see Winter is on the couch just kind of going, like, he's halfway through Goblins in Love. Uh, and he's looking at it at this point part where he's just like, this is absurd. This is just not, this is not a thing. Um, not that he would know, but it looks very scandalized. Uh, you, Faisa's in the kitchen. She is making breakfast. At the table, there is Ray Bella, and she is drawing a pink tiefling. A little girl pink tiefling, yes. You said that Varian sees Winter reading the book on his way to the shower, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Odd use of the prestidigitation cantrip, but oh, it God. says <laughs> it says that I can make a small color, small mark, or symbol appear on an object or surface for one hour. Um, can I change some words on the page that he's reading? Okay. To what? The, the smuttiest filth he's ever read. That is what he is reading right now. No, I make it worse. <laughs> okay, I, what are you doing? <laughs> like, if he's just, he's like reading the page, it's like, and as the branches fell to the side in the sunset, like, and it normally would say, like, the two of them reached lovingly for an embrace. But, like, instead, he just changes it to be, like, hardcore. <laughs> like, see, and he's just like, yeah. whoa, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> he's, you could see him turn bright red, uh, kind of, like, look over to where Faza is and then just put the book down on the couch beside him, a little uncomfortable. And of course, he will chirp as he goes past and he goes, you know, you can always lock the door when you're reading stuff like that. <laughs> he's he like, like out in the cat. He's in the common area and he, he jumps just a little bit. Not like not expecting to you anyone to have caught that. And is, I, I, you know, um, this is I don't think this book is for me. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, success. Minor failure. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Um, Gilly, you wake up in your hammock on your beach, swaying a little bit in the breeze. Salt air fills your nostrils. Is there anything that you would like to do? Actually, give me a second. What? God damn, you little creeper. You wake up and you come face to face with a set of beady little dragon eyes as oh. Talon stands looking down at you. Have I did I I've seen Talon. I don't think that we've interacted though. Can you give me a history check with advantage? Okay. Not bad, not bad. What's my can't be good. Nope. 15. 15 is actually very good. Okay. You look at this tiny little creature that is kind of giving you like glaring at you just a little bit and you go you think for a second you're like I've you've seen him before you've seen him before um except he was accompanied with a half elf that you used to buy um you used to buy uh, furs from oh interesting yeah um which the party has met but you're not aware of and his name is Callum Small world. Hey, you're uh, uh, our columns, little friend, right? Do you talk? I never got a great sense for that. There's a moment where he just kind of glares down at you and he sits back on your chest. He goes, if you tell anyone I speak common, I will make you regret this for the rest of your life. Noted. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Are you uh, enjoying the beach? It's a nice enough beach. 
I agree. He smells you. He goes. I don't remember this scent on you last time I saw you. I mean, I haven't showered in a couple of days, but... Well, is it that bad? Do better, first of all. Hygiene is <laughs> important. No. You smell like... Is you know her. Oh! Yeah! Have you met her? He looks at you for a second and he goes, I mean, you suppose she would be my aunt, wouldn't she? And he'll okay. take a step back and kind of fly off you and then uh, transform into a very handsome um, elf, more or less. Blonde hair, silvery blue eyes. And Blimey. as you're looking at him, uh, there is no way to doubt this. Like you, you can just tell he is an archfey. Okay. Well, this is an interesting twist. Uh did I did I catch your name? I'm Talon. Talon. All right. Um, and you just hang out with these folks. Do they know you're a fella? Yes, they do. I'm a fella. Yes, all right. <laughs> He's, he just kind of <laughs> looked at you like a little... Okay. Look, I'm not an expert on dragons. I don't know. They could do that. Fair enough. Why is Auntie getting into the ring right now? Well, uh, believe it or not, your Auntie did not actually grace me with a ton of details about her motivations uh all i know is i was sent to help this lot uh and it seems like from talking to them i'm supposed to help them get to the godlands that's all i know really if you've got any young insights that would be actually be nice you have blue freckles and you smell like salt water. Thank you. It's not exactly very... <laughs> Are you in, is it? Well, I suppose that depends on what you consider I win. Now, doesn't it? Perhaps that's why your auntie likes me. You know, I've heard stories of auntie's children having met someone from a different plane and having children with them. Would there be truth to these stories? Well... I suppose you'd have to ask my great 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 grandfather about that. A grandmother? I I don't remember. Maybe. Do you want to give me an insight on him right now? I would love to. There, kind of just. He's got his. He's not. His arms aren't crossed. He's sort of just kind of like leaning over you a bit. Like, hmm, this is interesting. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Oh my god! You you see it? There's like a little spark in his eyes a little bit of mischief he's like you don't know where you come from do you i know enough i know as much as i've ever needed to know this will be fun and then he pops back into his little dragon form <laughs> he's like well i'm going to go and have breakfast and steal things off of damascus's plate because it bothers him noted Come along, Gilly. Okay. <laughs> and he'll, uh, when you get up, he'll sort of flutter around to your shoulder and nest there. And you feel him buddy. start, like, picking at your hair and, like, you, it starts. he starts sort of, like, braiding bits of it. Amazing. Yeah. I don't smell that bad. If you're gonna 
urge you on me. Smell like salt water. Yeah, it's lovely. Quite and rude dragon. <laughs> Do you always wake up like this? And as you as you walk <laughs> out of your room, he immediately switches into another language that you don't understand. And Faza kind of looks back and goes, Oh, you've made a friend. Yeah, can't understand the word he's saying. Yeah, don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Mm. <laughs> She's made, she, as you kind of like come out to eat, she has made just like almost every food you can possibly imagine. Um, and she's like, I didn't know what you like for breakfast. So I made pancakes. And then I was like, well, what if she doesn't like pancakes? So I made bacon and then I made eggs and then I made sausages. And then I was like, well, what if she's a third person? Put her hands on Faiza's shoulders and say, Faiza, you are now officially my favorite person in this entire place. (laughs) And she's going to grab one of everything. You've made her extremely happy. Like, when you do that, that is, like, the best thing anyone has ever done. Uh, She very much likes to cook and and feed people. Um, Damascus, you wake up alone in Faze's bedroom. Damascus will give a good old stretch. You hit, like, the wall above you because it's such a small room. Uh, Sidle out of his room. Hit the bathroom. Check his hair. Most important thing. Uh, bathroom is busy right now. I'm sorry, but there is a a handsome um, red tiefling that is in a human body in there. Then he will. You're mute, my dear. I said, "Oh no, the door is unlocked." <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh my. So uh, I, I I imagine you come in, but like it's one of those like upright showers with the glass doors so it's just sort of like steamy but you can still use the rest of the bathroom i shrug it's important that i get my hair right so he spends like five minutes tussling it making sure it's falls the right way uh, you don't even say anything you just walk in on someone else showering mm-hmm. and don't even like you're so <laughs> you're the worst <laughs> <laughs> i know it's i know who it is i think after about five minutes once he's got his hair right then he'll go Morning, Rev. Good morning to you, fella. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that that little uh comes out. Morning, Varian. Okay, well, could you at least? I I think I left. There's a there's a small bottle out there on the counter. Do you think you could pa- just toss that? It's over the top. I just uh just need that. I grab the bottle. And we'll give it a nice old... Hang on, wait, do I have Mage Hand? I do not. Give it a nice old chuck right over. I, my Mage Hand catches it just up top. <laughs> and I go, I suppose I could have done that myself the entire time, couldn't I? I mean, probably. But I, I forget these things. At least you didn't come out here and grab it while I was using the, uh, the mirror. I, I stopped the water. Speaking of, it'd be a good time to run. All right. <laughs> <I will turn laughs> you have to think this. about it. I'll turn and I'll give him his privacy. Follow my nose into the kitchen. Floating on the wafts of good scent. Uh, uh, when you get there, uh, you see Gilly and Faza. Faza is now like kind of almost fawning over Gilly. Like, oh, someone's eating my food and that much of it. And like everything that I want to give her. And <laughs> yeah. Walk on in. Morning, ladies. How's everyone doing this morning? Faze just grins. She's she's happy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Enough said. She's a hell of a cook, ain't she? Uh, I'll uh, go grab a plate. She'll have, she'll hand you like a coffee that's filled with like 10 sugars. I'll drink it. It's yeah, that's, that's, that's your jam. Uh, and mm. go ahead. I, I, w- I mean, I'm waiting for Varian to join before I let everybody know what I saw last night. Right, yes. Um, oh, at, I, it, Winter will it join a, as well. It, it was around this beat that I feel like Varian would have exited the shower room with like the towel tied around his waist 
and Arev is sort of like slightly scarred, but like bearish, like slightly hair covered body uh, walks out. <laughs> and I feel like right in time for Winter, who was already uncomfortable to like suddenly <laughs> see him standing there freshly showered and just do that thing where he like reaches up, flexes and tussles his own hair. And then he just kind of looks over and he goes, well, good morning to you too there, fella. I'm hungry. <clears throat> and he turns around <laughs> and he'll go and sit at the, the table and just be like, this is... <clears throat> and he'll like, just thirsty. grab something. <laughs> he call, he goes down the hallway as he heads to his room just to go grab his clothes. I think he mentioned he wanted to try the sausage. And then he just keeps going. <laughs> and to just play off of that fizzle just that's what she gives him she doesn't let him pick his own food today she'll just starts giving him sausage to make that joke yeah. a little bit better perfect sausage sausage and the typical irish potatoes i think yeah thank, some, thank, thank you like some tea across you look thirsty He looks at Faza. He looks at the book on the count at the at the couch. He looks back at Faza. He goes, <laughs> I, "I, you can take that back." <laughs> I'll finish your book. Or is that your way of saying it's already done? No, it, I'm I'm good. I got about halfway, and I think. You know, it's just absurd, and I don't think I'm really interested in, in reading it. It's cool. Yeah. Listen, I ain't gonna speak to the quality of the writing, but... It's very good writing. What's wrong with you? I, I said I can't speak to it because I ain't read it. But you can't leave a book half-read. That's just insulting. You gotta at least finish the thing. I don't... I don't... I don't... There's just a lot of, and then tying people up, and then like, and I just. Well, there are goblins in love after all. It's normal then. <laughs> Varian, yeah, Varian walks back in, dressed at this point, and he just goes, I suppose the only thing that's normal is whatever the two of you agree on in the moment, don't you think? Yeah, uh, I mean, I get, I, I have like very limited experience here, so yes. Trust that, me, that's okay. Do you need, do you need a hand to hold while you finish the book? I don't want to finish the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything oh. else that? Oh, you, you wanted to tell them. Yeah, so I will. Uh, give a quick recap of what I saw the previous night in my visit with Bella and just uh, Bella's in a bit of lockdown at the moment I think getting forcibly yanked out of a realm may have set her on high alert it's concerning I ain't never seen her so worried about something Is with his. So that's the first time she's felt that power this then. Near as I can tell. Maybe when they first, she and the other gods first confronted Tamina. Get the feeling that it was a similar situation, only now she's on her own. Whereas last time it was five on one. How's your uh, magic, Damascus? I will conjure minor illusions. Actually, no, I'll use Bella's magic. I'm going to use my uh, silent image um, invocation. What you look just... for? I'm just making... Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll show a picture of the well that um, Arev's mom is down. If I can make it pop up. I just want to see if it works. 
it works. Okay. Seems fine. Is it feeling like weaker in any way? Uh, do you want to roll me Arcana? I would love to roll some dice. Ooh, 18. Plus 3. 21. It seems normal. Okay. Feels fine. Wow, what were you worried about? I just wanted to make sure, I think, that uh, she's been a bit skittish. There was, of course, those moments that she was asleep, but she's been fickle even before that. So if she was scared, I didn't want you to be reaching for a magic you couldn't find. I think scared as she is, I think I might have been able to convince her that we were on her side. So at least she ain't going to. Hold away too much. I get the feeling whatever's coming, we're going to need our help. It's... If Tamina's this scary, two of them coming down, that's a lot. But that's a problem for another day. Uh, and I gesture to the well. Uh, Rev... Varian, or Rev's mother, is that's very confusing, is... Somewhere down this well in a town a little ways north of here. At least that's what Beloth was able to point out to me. There's something in there that's... I don't know. Something's in this town. Probably whatever is making everybody all forgetful. Maybe whatever took out the former companion that we had. Oh, and uh, do I see... Rebella's not been here, is she? She's been yeah. sitting here the whole time drawing, munching on okay. uh, bits of food that Faisal's cut up for her. Yeah. Uh, last part, I will silently message to everyone one at a time and just go. Also, Rebella's dad is in a house near the well. He was asleep, but otherwise seemed unharmed, which is strange that he's just laying there. I draw to you. What did she draw? Did she draw? She draw. She drew you, and you've got like this really big nose, and your ears stick out like far too side. They're more like phases, kind of like long. And you know, your hair is very bright and red. And she looks. I draw to you. I shove my hair a little bit to the side, like pat it down, <laughs> and put my hat of disguise on. And I cast Disguise Self to look identical to the drawing she made. And go, well, it's perfect in every way. And I see. And I hold it up side by side. What do you think? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm, I, I draw it's good. Just so good. <laughs> Varian turns to Gilly. Hi! We haven't met yet, have we? Oh. <laughs> Your voice sounds different. No, it's the same voice I woke up with this morning. Your voice sounds different. I've never heard it before. Oh, stop playing with her. As your necklace begins <laughs> to glow just a little bit. Help. What a Miss Gilly. <laughs> Meet Varian. Meet me. Uh, does uh, Arave have a brother? I mean, uh, sort of. No, it's not even a little bit. Don't go that far. Way. Ah. Yeah, no, don't don't put them together. I want to sleep with one of them, and the other one's just annoying and actually my brother. Yuck. That would be awkward. Get out of him! I, I will if I could. Stay off of him. We've got Never. a lot of weird body display siblings in this group, don't we? Yep, we do. Oh my god, <laughs> we do! It's a thing. If I had a nickel for every time... <laughs> <laughs> a nickel? Well, it's nice to meet you. Is that some sort of... Currency joke that I'm too poor to understand. Ah, uh, yes. It's uh, something they have in the Godlands. <laughs> We're just uh, too old. Who knows? Never. You're never <laughs> too old. Well, it's nice to have another friendly face. That's the same Hard friendly face. Should I... Well, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> Wrong turn of phrase, perhaps. I, okay, so... Do you want the long version or the short version? Either way, I get to talk, so it's my favorite. 
Oh, definitely the short version. <laughs> Perfect. So, way back when <laughs> he like launches <laughs> into <laughs> the whole thing. It's five fifty thousand years ago. It's the same version. <laughs> yeah, it's the same version. It's just <laughs> either way, and uh, he goes <laughs> you in. Um, and so he puts a polish on. And he goes. And so that's why when I woke up this morning, the first thing that I did was tea is winter and change the words in the book. I didn't change a single thing. You did what? I did <laughs> nothing. You've got no proof. He gets up and he goes back to the book, to that page. It's been like an hour now or so. Yeah, and it's just like the, the regular romantic scene and like a sunset, yeah, a gentle right. kiss. And he's just like. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Like. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You traumatized the man. Look, I think we just finished the fact that I like to talk. But if you want the the short version of what isn't wrong with me, that would actually You don't be... have short versions. <laughs> no, I really do not. <laughs> I'm learning this. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, This might be awkward, I suppose, considering we're going to find Arev's mum. Ooh. Oh, uh, you mean Ella? Yeah, are you going to pretend to be him? Or does she know about the whole <laughs> situation? What's think... the plan there? I think we dealt with that, actually, when we met Rev's other mum. She, uh, okay. she was a bit baffled by my I, by my existence. I Actually, she quite, she thought that I'd killed him and stole his clothes. That was quite a, that was a funny time. Um, that was not so funny. She's, she's scary when she's mad. Maybe we deal with this one a little bit more directly and just oh. lay out the situation. It's good to uh, the other stuff. Does anyone want to give me uh, a an, an, an perception check at the cha- the table right now? Yeah, Always was about to ask a question and I'm wondering oh, if it's the same thing. What, what's the question? 20. Well, uh, I rolled this roll first. 12. Yeah. 12. 12. Okay. Okay. And what was your question? Um, where's the tiger? That's a very good <laughs> question. <laughs> you ask that question, your foot gets nipped under the table. Ow. <laughs> All right. Hey, Sasha. Uh, you notice with a 20, you're getting really weird looks from a certain little pink haired or a certain little pink tiefling sitting at the table. Varian. Mm. Varian goes over after looking at Gilly and he'll like briefly go over. I'm assuming your trident is near you. It's in my bracelet. Oh, it's in your bracelet? Yeah. Oh, then he probably. Wait. Oh, nice. That 20. So he kind of like saddles over to you and does one of those like loose sort of like hopping like with his feet and he like thumbs your bracelet and he goes pointy I like it and then just sort of like moves past you and sits down at the table across from Rael and just Rebella sorry uh, Rebella she's kind of glaring at you a little bit I, I don't glare back I just look you do with my knight <laughs> you see the funny thing is it's the morning there sweet so that I, I didn't do much with your night but you must have gone to sleep so you did something with your night she's a little pouty oh no and she no, looks no, no. over at Damascus I don't like him he's in the myth. It's a common feeling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do I roll for some psychic damage? <laughs> Ouch. Uh, my vicious mockery is 2d4 now. <laughs> oh, yoink. I, I, he looks over his shoulder and just goes, oh, Really? <laughs> I'm trying to comfort the child. I, I shoot the message back to him. And I just look down and go, so have you ever, you're a smart little lass, correct? 
you're a beautiful artist. I've seen plenty of your art over the last 20 minutes or so. It's Ribella, right? That's your name? So it's kind of like you like magic, right? I what? What everybody likes magic. Well, yes, of course. So, a picture for a second. Your uncle, he's a brave, he's a shining knight, correct? Now, he My does uncle. knight. He 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 does knightly things. Ah, uh, so once upon a time, there was this brave, shining knight, Arev Dezark. And he, my knight, your 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 brave shining knight, Arab Dezark. He took it upon himself to allow. You stole my knight. No, 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 no. He <laughs> he saved me, princess. I'm I'm just a I'm just a poor lost soul. That uh, your beautiful knight. Uh, he's he's here. He's with me. And you hear uh, a, a voice. He hears. He, he he feels a feeling in the back of his mind, as the presence of Reb sort of like takes over. And Varian, in, instead of continuing this like story, sort of calms down and goes. He's he's here, princess. He's he's still here. I just borrow him from time to time. You and the trees on fire. Uh, what? You set all her trees on fire. I suppose I did it that. And I'm sorry. Uh, it's a lesson learned. I will do my best to not set any trees on fire going forward. I, I can swear off fire from here on out if that's if that will make you feel safe. You need to be responsible and use things that will burn people. I I will I will be very responsible. Those trees your friends, little one. Yes. You did you know they were attacking us? I saw it after, yeah. They're trying to hurt us. We don't hurt our friends, right? Maybe you should talk to them. Do you not talk to them? Us, not all of us can talk to trees like you can. <laughs> she, she, she looks at Varian and she looks kind of like, but my uncle could. <laughs> like, like that, <laughs> that's the look you're getting, but she doesn't say that. Like, I bet, I bet my knight could. Oh, Varian is quite adamantly looking in the other direction, sipping some tea. Yeah. <laughs> like, just she's, dodging she's not, it. She's not a huge fan of Varian. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if we uh, see more trees, we'll... Why don't we let you chat with them for us? You let them know we're friendly. We just want to make our way past so we can find you, Papa. Okay, do that, yeah. All right. You'll be our tree ambassador. <laughs> tree princess. translator. Tree princess. There you go. Princess of the trees. Okay. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I, I'm hearing her voice and I'm just realizing that it's like the Riley voice. <laughs> <laughs> With the hands? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 <laughs> uh, but like a little bit more fleshed out. It's not like so comedic, like so in your face. But like, anyways, continue. It's fantastic. You add prop work to your NPCs. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's if there's anything else anyone wants to do before you head out. No, I'm good. Uh, then you will uh, pack up and. Begin your travels. Okay. Um, okay, so where are we at here? Um, as you uh, begin your travels for the day, uh, 
Varen, you continuously kind of get almost separated from the group by Sasha, who keeps circling around you and then knowing that you're not you're not a rev. So I just keep getting buffeted. Yeah. Just something's wrong. Uh and um a rev was doing something to uh ow my just get, hit my funded bone. Um no. A rev was doing something to tell you guys where to travel. Ritually casting oh, detect yeah, magic, we... yes. Yes. How are you traveling today? Uh that is a fantastic question. Um I've got the magic awareness one, but that only lasts for one round and I can only do it four times. So the not answer as is good. much more carefully because I don't have that ability anymore. Hey. All right. Why don't why don't we tie a rope around my waist? I'll go like 30 feet ahead and every once in a while ask me a question about where we're going. If I forget, you can just yank me on out of there and go a different direction. Good plan. Like, and if we get stuck, I can use my thing. I think that's a good plan. <laughs> As you guys are walking, you kind of get this look at, like, Raybella just kind of looks at you guys, like, shakes her head a little bit, and then walks over to this little piece of fabric that she had tied somewhere. Remember, she had tied a bunch of little squares of fabric as she was running through the forest. Her coat was, her cloak was all cut up. She goes, "Do to go follow these again." Oh, was... hi. Yeah. That looks like our new friend showing us the way. I untie the rope. <laughs> I wouldn't be so quick to Damascus. I feel like we should probably do both of them. The little this, clouds uh, did move, right? The the, the spots that uh, a rev could see were moving around. So just because... Wait. Hey, Rebella, sweetie. What? You know your brave knight, how he has the ability to uh, to, to see those things. Mm. You don't... You don't happen to share that. It's not a family trait or anything, is it? I don't know. I haven't even tried. No time like the present. I mean, you want to see if, if it, she can she can cast detect magic. If if it would be helpful, I can sit with you for a while until you feel comfortable to try. Gilly, you said. I'm asking, can you sit with me? I can oh. sit with you. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go sit next to her. Gilly, you said you can kind of tap into the same sort of ability. Maybe you can help gather through it hey, sure me. yeah i can help we could all sit in a little circle it's okay figure I mean, out how ritual casting maintain a works how to maintain a respectful distance she quite clearly wants me over here <laughs> you right. get the Rebel. side i like good princess <laughs> we should always try and include people right i i'm being included oh, as man. a wallflower damascus it's okay you can't come sit <laughs> You clearly, you're just, you gave her the, like, the look she gave you was like, oh, no, dad's yelling at me. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, that's say. lovely, right, Bella? It's nice to share. How do I do it? Well, look, I'm not very good at magic stuff, but uh, I can show you how I do mine. Um... And then maybe someone else who knows about magic might be able to combine them. So I'll I'll just I'll cast my magic awareness once and see if that helps. Before you do it, she'll she's gonna kind of like reach out and touch you so she can okay, feel yeah. what you're doing. And then if I see any of if I become aware of any of those clouds, I'm gonna point it out to her so she knows where to concentrate when yeah, she's right. doing her thing. I tell you her, roll me, hum, roll me a d twenty. Okay, and we're gonna see how, how lucky you are. 
hum a little tune, darling. That's what I do. And I try and hear what sound like bounces off the magic. Bard and advice. I'll hum a little bit and give her a uh, bardic inspiration. Okay, oh, good, 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 good. Okay. Whatever she's rolling. Do you want me to roll D8? Just... Oh, yeah, yeah. I only got a 10, so hopefully. <laughs> eight. On my D8. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she did ask us. Varian, the only thing that he'd pitch in would just be like, I'm sorry if they're talking all complicated at you, but sometimes when you're looking around at things, you'll just notice some things are magical and some things aren't. It's all about where you look. When you say that, she kind of gives you this look like, unlike the German sense kind of look. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> yeah, how dare? How dare? Down and, down uh, the and she'll watch you do that. Um, and with your role and her role combined, you did really well. Uh, so you kind of pick up just just within that 30 feet, just at the very edge. There's something kind of wispy and moving, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you see her watch you do that. And then you see her a little pink glow kind of shimmer through her horns. And she goes... I see that there. And she points to that spot that you just picked up on. Ah, very good. It's exactly there. So you're just looking for that as we move along. And just sort of let us know if we're going towards one. I can do that. What and would we uh, do without you? Great work, Gilly. <laughs> She's just clapping. I'm all great at the magic <laughs> stuff. I'm glad I could help her. You did very good magic. Yeah, so did you. Okay. And she'll uh she'll get up and be like this way then, and she'll uh guide you guys between her um her little bits of her cloak that she's tied onto things. She's like, you kind of notice that when she'll walk forward, she stops and she's like looks around she's not sure where she has those little cloak pieces until she'll see it and she'll spot she's like okay that way she knows she made this trail but she doesn't know where she's been mm. we're relying on the trail <laughs> memories erased well almost we'll like her. her memories might be erased hmm almost like she might have made this trail in a circle but she thinks she made it in a line might have, yeah. We'll see about Are we that. Going in a circle. Can I do a survival check to see if we're going in a circle? Sure, give me a survival check. I'm so bad at this. Can I assist in some sort of way? Sure. How are you going to help him? Oh, I'm good at survival. Um, I I feel like as you if can do Damascus... it as well. Like. Both of you, like you guys, can both roll that for it. Yeah. What are you going just... to do to help him? Full uh... knowledge. And as Damascus is kind of looking around, Varian goes, oh, hey, wait, Damascus, just hang on. And he kind of like puffs some dust off of his collar and straightens his jacket. And he goes, sorry, you were looking a little bit less than your best there. Now now you should, now you should be able to concentrate. Because <laughs> oh, like, okay. like, like a bard's got to look good while he's doing oh, what yeah. he's doing, right? You've That's renewed his like confidence there just a little <laughs> bit more. Not that it needed that much help. You can yeah, roll exactly. with advantage and you can roll uh, survival as well. Nice. Okay. Thank At least going to climb a tree. Four. Okay, you can roll with advantage Ooh. too. You're getting, you're trying to get a different advantage. I rolled a nat twenty. If it, I rolled a nat twenty-two. Hey. Oh, nice. Hey. We know exactly where we are. <laughs> it's all Survival about the coat. experts. You did. You climbed up and you kind of got different vantage points as you went up. Like the trees go very high here, um, and as you, as you note, you are kind of getting different vantage points as you go up you notice that it doesn't seem like you're going in a circle at first at first but then something kind of changes and almost warps while you're there for a second and it feels like you're getting almost stuck in between something oh and, something weird's happening uh do you want to try and cast one of those those magic detection things up here? 
Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I don't think I have to roll for it or anything. I could just do it as an action. You're when when that happens, you're almost like you kind of feel like you're getting you're in like a pocket almost. You're getting sucked into something. Mm. And and for a second you feel that fog almost everywhere. No. Um and when you get back down, Ray Bella is just 30 feet away from you as she looks a little upset. Like away from you guys in the forward, kind of getting the next little piece of cloth. Oh. And she goes, It's everywhere now. Yeah, that's what I saw too. I think we're being Feywilded. She wouldn't have any awareness of that. Everything is Feywild here. Targeted, maybe. But is it because we're close, maybe? To whatever it is we're looking for? It's getting thicker. It's getting closer and thicker and and like that magic is getting more dense. So you get the you get the feeling that you're getting closer to whatever may be causing it. Yes. This was described as largely like like invisible fog clouds, right? Like little things that were moving around. I don't know how much of that is like the magical side of it and how much of that that is the physical side of it. But um, I, I have a storm sorcery thing that allows me to subtly control the weather around me. And I, I did this once before in the Feywild, right? When the blizzard was going and I sort of like calmed the winds and everything around me. But, or not in the Feywild, the Godlands, sorry. But um, it says... Uh, if it's raining, I can use an action to cause the rain to stop falling in a 20-foot radius around me. Uh, but if it's windy, I can use a bonus action each round to choose the direction the wind blows in a 100-foot mm. radius sphere centered on me. So the wind blows in that direction until end of t- my end of my next turn. I don't that... know if it'll help or if it's windy. Do you want to try it? But yes. I would love to try to to gust the fog out of the way. Okay. And what are you... That Actually, something very similar to what I was going to ask was... Um, dispel magic is instantaneous. Would I be able to concentrate on it and maybe combine it with the blowing energy of magic that Varian oh, is you guys want to around? together. Yeah. Yeah. Team, team combo spell? Tag team. Tag team. Okay. Tag team magic. Okay. 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 Um. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You guys are both charisma casters. We are. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Do your spells, and then both of you roll me a charisma check, and it needs to, or, or just yeah, just a charisma, a charisma throw, like straight charisma, and then um. It needs to add up to, I think, with both of you being charisma casters, I'd say a 30 to have any effect right now. Okay. Um, Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can I? Wait. (laughs) Trying to figure out if this would help or not. Would this be a, would this count as an attack roll or ability check? It would, right? It's not, it's, no, there's casting spells. It's it's not an ability check. I yeah, mean, it, if you're spells. trying to dispel a high level magic, don't you have to roll against the DC to break it? You are checking to see if this is a high level magic that you can be dispelled right now. So you could save that if you wanted to and see if it moves. You're not sure what it is. Okay. You're like, okay. is it mist or is it, you know what I mean? Is it fog or is this part of what it, what this creature is? Okay. Because I can um, do a little boost to somebody if somebody needs a boost. Well, well, let, let, let's try this first thing first. And if if we need to go a little harder, we'll be like, Audrat, if only, only we had a bit more power. And You yeah. also being a storm sorcerer, I mean, I would give you advantage on trying to figure out if this is some sort of weather. 
if you wanted to do an ability check. Um, I yes. Um, I could I make some sort of survival check to see if it would even help to do this. Yeah, like give me mm, some sort of nature. Okay, you'd like a nature check. Okay. Mm. Nope. Uh, with nature, that's a seven. Okay. You're not sure. You're it, it. You know it's kind of foggy, but you're not sure if this is actual fog or just mag- some sort of magic or part of what this creature can just do. So I then I I'm definitely roped in. I I kind of turn to Damascus and I go. I don't like the look of this. I'm gonna try and I. It's not very familiar to me, Damascus. So I, I'm going to try a hand at maybe summoning up a bit of a wind here. See if I can't get this fog out of the way. Maybe I can throw some dispelling words into that. You can whip them around with your fog, and it's crazy enough that it might work. Do it, do it, add it together. Uh, I'm letting you do a charisma instead of Arcana to see if you guys can mesh the shit together. Let's okay. let's do it. Okay. Is this yeah. Check all traits counts? Yes. Cool. And if you want to boost a rev with this ability check, you can. Or not a rev, a uh, Varian. Because he's got jack of all trades to that. Uh, Gilly. Me boost? Oh. Yeah, okay, so bolstering magic. I'm going to pat you on the shoulder. And you can roll a extra D3. Okay. okay, okay. A D3, but hey. A D3. <laughs> you can make that a it's D4 something. if you want. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. If you're using physical dice. Yeah, there's like, I'm not going to make you go like. <laughs> it's just a d6 divided by two. No, fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, right. To do. Just take a d4. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible, though. <laughs> well, I hope you rolled fantastic. No. Is he, he got a 22. So what did you get? A 22. Oh. Oh, you got a 22? Uh-huh. 15 plus on the five. dice plus five charisma plus jack of all trades is two. <laughs> so I rolled a three. The All extra right. D, the extra D four gave me a one, which is four. four <laughs> but I have a plus five to charisma, so we have so got you. 31. You met it then, right? Yeah. You guys met it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. By the skin of your teeth. Yeah, All right, right, right. That was close. <laughs> so here's what happens: you burst that bit of like it's a hundred feet, right? Is it around you? Uh yeah. It says that I choose the direction the wind blows in a hundred foot radius sphere. So yeah, I I, I kind of pictured like summoning like a small bit of like wind between my hands and holding it up to Damascus's mouth. <laughs> Speak into it, baby. Nice. Be gone. And just <laughs> be gone. Literally just <laughs> like. And uh, it, you see, ooh, okay. So I'm just gonna make okay. Here's what happens. It begins to move all of this fog it begins to kind of like drift upwards and outwards and away from where you're where you guys are and you see like Rabia like almost like spins around in a circle as she's like watching it and kind of looks at at you guys side eyes very in a little bit and then is a little too like like this is she she recognized almost that you're like controlling weather in a in a sense and um it goes up in a way and in the distance you see a small town and as you see this small town give me uh i'm gonna say you don't even need to roll for this you can already feel this fog beginning to settle back down you're gonna need to like book it towards there before, or you may get lost again. You like okay. get on a tiger and go, <laughs> or something. You yeah. guys can if you if you really if you yeah, run and some, if someone picks up the kid, you could probably make it there. All right. I mean, if it helps, I I can change the direction the wind blows uh, as a bonus action every you know six seconds, like every turn. So I could put the wind literally at our backs to like sort of push us forward towards this town. 
Oh yeah. Okay, go go nice. for it. You guys, you've got wind, like you're getting pushed forward. You guys are running towards this town. I'll um, grab the kid and put her on the back of a tiger. Run, Sasha. <laughs> She's holding on for dear life as you guys gallop as he gallop, runs forward. <laughs> uh, and you approach. Uh, I'll read, I'll read like, kind of like what you, what happens. So like, as you guys are running towards this uh, path, you kind of, or this, um, this town, you kind of notice that you're like off the road to where you should have been going. So it didn't feel like you guys were drifting off into like nothingness, but you were trying to follow like Varian, a rev knows where he has been this in like in this jungle for most of it right but yeah. even he was getting kind of off-roaded and he shouldn't ha- he should have been aware of that but it never kind of came up um the vegetation around you is just getting thicker and thicker as you run towards this town uh the fog is coming back down regardless of where you are pushing it and whatnot it seems to be like it's almost being just pulled by something else um the town is nestled like deep in the jungle hidden away from any main roads it almost looks like it's been kind of forgotten by the outside world it's small it's quiet uh there are only a handful of houses and like a single dilapidated inn um just outside the entrance to the town, there is a decaying sign that says um, Aztua. And on it, uh, well, obviously the name is on it. Um, and the streets are very overgrown with weeds and buildings are crumbling and they're weather beaten and almost like as if no one's really paying attention to them anymore. But despite like the small size and remote location of the town, there is it's not abandoned, right? There are people there and a lot more than there should be, but the buildings do look abandoned. They've, all of the windows have been boarded up. All of, uh, like, it looks like there are chains that you can see, like the doors are open right now. People are kind of out and about, but it looks like uh, there are chains that are hanging on doorknobs and stuff that like get pulled in at night and people lock themselves in their houses. Um, The... The air is thick with like a smell of like decay almost. Uh, a few people kind of watch you enter this town with a sense of an ease. Um, and there's you feel that you're being watched constantly. Like everybody is kind of now looking around and seeing who these new people are that are walking into the town. Uh, you can't kind of like put your finger on why it feels so creepy. I mean, obviously it does look kind of creepy, but something something else is there. Something feels very, very wrong here. And um, almost like uh, it's not just the people that are watching you here. Um, What do you do? Do you want to do perception checks? Do you want to like... I'd say perception check for sure to start out with. Oh, no. I need to choose different dice because I can't read the numbers on them. At <laughs> uh, nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-five. Jeez, nice. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> with your nineteen. Okay, uh, you were there when they learned about with your twenty twenty-five. You were there right when they learned about um, Ravella's father. You've yes. seen like the image and stuff. Okay, so with your nineteen, Damascus, you're looking around and you're noticing that this there are. There do look like there have been people that have lived here for a very long time, but it also looks like there may be an influx of a bunch of new people and in mainly in the form of like purple tieflings. Um, also, with your 25, just kind of off in the distance, not really paying attention to you, you get, you, uh, Gilly, see what looks to be like Ray Bellow's father. Okay. And he seems to be like walking somewhere else. I feel like I want to tell the other grown ups and maybe not Ray Bella yet. 
but I don't have any sort of like I can't do that except to just be like hey, hey. as the fog kind of begins to settle back down around you in the town can everybody uh roll me a wisdom saving girl mm. you're like no please no we love a wisdom save Ooh, nat 20 Ooh, awesome seven. okay cool 22 um 19 for Damascus. 19 and things of gods mm. oh wait we're we're all near uh winter right Yes, you guys are all near winter. You can add plus so, five to that. Yes. Nice. So for Faisal then, and 23 for Damascus. I'm so okay. fucking wise right now. So 16 for Varian, because mm -hmm. otherwise it was an 11. Okay. And Winter himself gets a 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. So more or less everyone but Varian. You... You begin to feel almost like this town has been... Th this is where you're supposed to be, in a sense. But then you shake your head a bit and you're like, no, this is fucking weird. This place is creepy. Varian, on the other hand, no, you're supposed to be here. You should have been here the whole time. And y In fact, I mean... You don't really want to leave anymore. Oh, finally, a place to call home. Whew. That's been a long journey, don't you think? Well, where do you think's the best to move in? Uh, over there? Over here? That yeah, place with the boarded yeah. up windows and the nails looks comfy, don't you think? Definitely not. Marion, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about moving in, of course. Jesus, you don't feel that, that same sense of comfort? Like... Those folks over there, I swear I've known them my entire life. I'm just gonna uh I've got my oh, I feel like are... this is some spooky shit, mate. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna see you in a minute. I'm gonna I wanna check out that house and I'm gonna start to walk away. <laughs> I will Ray Bella Ray. is actually gonna grab your hand. But... Do you need a place to stay? I swear they've probably got at least four bedrooms in that place. You can have two for yourself. Imagine she... two full bedrooms. She rolled better than this guy here. Oh my god, she's <laughs> fucking eight years old. Like a wise eight year old. She's no, she's not. She's she's like six. She is literally like six years old. Um and she's just like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. You make a compelling argument, but I mm -mm. for one like the idea of two bedrooms. No. As you stay here. Varian, remember that mist. There's something here that's fucking with your head. I think you may be under the influence of something that's made all of these people stay here. Evil mist. Uh, so that's, that's a lot to take in. I'm definitely under the influence, just not of a mist. Uh, he pulls a flask out from his jacket and he goes, <laughs> Would you like some? There's Ravel's got this little, like, pink tail. It just kind of comes up and smacks your hand. Ta. Ah. You bad uh. person. I don't like you. you. Stay here now. Oh no! If I'm a bad person, then the first thing you should want me to do is go. You're very confusing, young miss. <laughs> don't you fall don't for the bad boys. You don't call me that. I, I'm just saying, if you meet a bad boy in your lifetime, you should be telling him to walk away, not to come hither. It's true. It's good advice, exactly. actually. Really good advice. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> then there's me who's like, no, <laughs> do the exact opposite. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can fix um, him. I can fix him. <laughs> they can't be fixed unless they want to be worse. fixed. I can make him worse. I promise you, they never want to be fixed as long as they're having fun. Does anybody have the magical version of a Slap to the face. Yeah. Should we try gonna, the manual one? <laughs> I will take the the drink that Varian is offering. And I'll take it. floor now. A little, I'll pick it <laughs> you up. You have to pick I'll it up. Little, yeah, I'll pick it up. I'll take a little sip of it. And then I'll go to hand will it you... back to him. She looks She looks over at you like, I was not supposed to drink. It's all right. 
Uh, I'll, I'll go to hand it back to Varian, and when he takes it, assuming he does take it. No, you're. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to out draw. You're gonna have to dodge a little girl's tail. Okay. <laughs> That's safe. That's no, safe. you do. You you do. You do. She got oh, that yeah, one. I got a nineteen. Yeah, I, I also got a nat nineteen. <laughs> she so, she huffs. I just like, hold it. No. Pie. <laughs> it's just out, out of the kids' out. reach. Um, when Steps Varian the, takes it, little. I'll cast a spell magic on him. Okay. Um, roll for me. I don't want to. I want it to just work. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what if not? It's not going to. Okay. Yes. I get to add seven to this because okay. Jack of all trades. That's an 11 plus 7 is 18. Oh, shit. Uh, with disadvantage. My bad. But I don't... But I don't that's sorry. Good. I'm sorry. I should have told you that earlier. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, that might have been why I, I was... 19 a... the second time, so 11 okay. plus 7 is 18. Okay. Um, It's still... It's still not... Oh, not quite enough. Well, maybe we let him play house for a little bit and <laughs> we go investigate uh, Varian why don't if you're planning on setting up shop here only makes sense to wander around meet the neighbors say hello to everyone make I sure you don't get I love water him. In the... <laughs> daddy I love him <laughs> <laughs> she's 16 just... year old she's not a child anymore uh, oh, uh, Ariel? Ariel is definitely a child. Oh. I, she will <laughs> always be a child. I will die I, on that hill. I am her so sorry. Spirit. King Triton, that's, that's you were her. always right. That's her. No, she I is mean. a child. When I when I was a kid watching that, I was like, yeah, she's so old. <laughs> and then as I, I went, watched that's that again, so I was lame. like, this bitch, she's so dumb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say the temper tantrum and destroying all her stuff is a little... No, little that was bad parenting. Not cool. That was That's definitely bad parenting. Bad parenting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Other than that, yeah, he was right. Come, coming from the right place, chose the wrong actions. <laughs> anyway. It's relatable. Uh, relatable. This is we, we, we digress. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I... Come eat the neighbors. Uh, I, I, I won't push it. I won't push it too hard. Um... Because you're 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 a persuasive chap, right? So and so Varian kind of looks at you and goes, Oh, you know what that is? Absolutely correct. I should go meet the neighbors. Uh would be a little odd just for me to walk in and say this place is mine now, wouldn't it? That's only makes sense. Gotta make sure the place you're planning on taking ain't occupied. This is a little so weird. You're gonna, you're I... gonna walk up to like the house next door. There's there is somebody sitting like there are like a couple of people sitting on the one of the uh, verandas sort of just talking. Everybody looks very stressed out. Very, like, there is a tension to this place. Um, but everyone's not, but no one is leaving. No one even looks like they're going to leave. Uh, if, let me see, I have, I had, I made people. Uh, so, on... On one of the verandas, there is a human male sitting there uh, with uh, a square face, kind of like black hair, sharp, very amber eyes, and is just sort of sitting with uh, another another human male uh, that's got like curly hair and, you know, green eyes. And like, uh, he's wearing shorts. He's got like a magical tattoo on his leg that's just like, and they're just... They've got like they're whispering together. Ooh. Let's go find the find out the tea. Yeah. Let's walk up. What do you do? They uh, they watch you approach, but they kind of don't move to say anything. It's just like a very caution, caution stare, cautional stare. I will walk up and say hello. Uh day, fellas. How y'all doing today in this lovely old town you got here? It's not bad. Yet, uh, that's the one with the curly red hair. Because uh, I'm, I'm Wolfa. You, you're you're new to this town, then. I'd say we are. My friend here was thinking of setting up shop in one of the 
houses nearby. Just, uh, seems like you had a lot of an influx of new settlers lately. Up and coming, bustling place like this, not surprising. Varian walks right past Damascus. Mm -hmm. And he just goes and he plops himself on the deck next to, like on the veranda, just lean, sort of like leaning back, just all chill next to Woofa. He goes, oh, what are you going to tell him, Woofa? We've known each other for a long time. The house down the way, that, that one's mine, ain't it? He looks over at you, he goes, in a few years, I think. Something like that. I don't in know why this... Years? This fellow's just talking mad nonsense, isn't he? Next year he's going to tell me that we walked into town together. I think that's strange. And uh, there's there's the guy with the black hair beside him that's kind of just like nodding a bit along along with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's been showing us around since he's, you know, a native here. And he was going to tell us uh, all about any sort of uh, activities that happen, you know, the community main building. Is... They're kind of just, they're, the look that they're now giving you besides Varian uh, is like, okay then. Uh, and uh, they're looking at Varian like side eye like, this is, this is uh, actually, Varian, can you give me another wisdom saving throw this time with disadvantage? Yep. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um. Fourteen. Because you're not actually sure oh, no, who no, no, these no. people are either. Oh, that's I, I, winter. I, I roll the two plus the two plus five. Wonderful. Right. Wonderful. Great. Uh. You're not actually quite sure who these new people are either. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. Um, mm. Do you think I... they they might be moving along now, Wuffa? I mean, we we were having a grand time just having a chat, and now I'm starting to get a little disturbed. They're still standing at our doorstep. And the uh, the uh, man with the black hair will kind of kind of like nod and be like. Maybe time for you to move along. Y'all don't seem particularly hospitable. Is there any? Is there like a danger around here that we should be aware of? Everyone seems on edge. Just Very... before we go, so we know. Gestures the thumb at the guy with the black hair. Him, I reckon. <laughs> mm, uh... Okay. <laughs> oh my god uh he'll actually kind of look at you and be like if you're looking for lodging why don't you try the inn where's the inn at try using your eyes i don't know oh i see it uh, now i see it now there actually... it is damascus it is actually the biggest building in this place i was um, actually hoping i'd be able to get a drink before we settle down is that well in town maybe i can pull some water we've been wandering for quite a while when you can you give me um an insight check right now i i would like to do something else before i ask, okay. like, as i ask that okay. i would like to cast detect thoughts okay Ooh. you cast detect and thoughts all right pops up yeah that's always a useful one. All right. Um, he, you don't even have to tell, like, you don't have to check then or roll because you see, you'll see him stiffen. You'll see, you'll hear, you're not, in his head, it's just don't, 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 like over and over and over again. And then it almost kind of goes blank. He goes, he, he's breathing a little bit quickly and he's like, Wells boarded up. Well, go to the, we should have stayed. Go to the inn. He needs something. Oh, will do. We should have stayed away. If it's dangerous, boarded up well usually means there's risk of falling down into it. 
I'm assuming uh, it's near the center of town. We'll keep a keep an eye out for it. As you're as you're talking though, um you hear someone scream across town. Just absolute Ooh. fucking horror. What do you do? Do any of the weird town zombies react to this scream? Everyone kind of flinches. Okay. And then you see almost everyone kind of just relax back down. Just like, okay, uh, never mind. I rolled yes. a net 20 trying to mm-hmm. determine how I would react. But with a net 20, can you tell me what happens for me? You. Because I'm, I'm like newly under this effect, right? You're newly under this effect. Uh, You sit up, kind of like turn towards that, like, oh, what's going on like what what's happening and then you're like oh uh, kind of just floats something floats through you just 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 nothing nothing even happened what what scream you didn't hear a scream out, out loud i think varian would have like processed that panicked but then just out loud he would have been like oh glad i'm no kind of hero type nothing to investigate but if there was i wouldn't have even gone uh <laughs> damascus will look at gilly and just say we should probably check that out uh phaser winter maybe stick close barring could definitely use your help if you you and damascus will start going can i jump into phaser's shoes for a second you can phaser will look at Varian and be like, Varian, will you knock it knock it off, calm the fuck down and just snap out of it and try and cast calm emotions on him which um, actually is in a 20 foot radius sphere so all of us okay. um, has to make a charisma saving throw a creature can choose to fail if it wishes um, and she can either Suppress any effect causing a creature to be charmed or frightened. That's what she's going to try and do. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to check something and see if this has a thing. Uh, Let's see here. What the fuck am I doing here? Stop. Okay. Uh, okay, so what was the what were those effects that you're trying to charm and, and frightened? frightened. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. It's... Will it, will everyone roll your uh, saves if or just let it happen? You tell uh, me. Damascus will let it happen. I'll let myself okay. be calmed. That sounds nice. Okay. Would I view this as a hostile effect in my current state? You view this is a hostile effect. Uh, do you know how? Do you know what he's cat? What she's casting? Oh, nope. she has subtle spell. You do not. You don't even see her t- cast it. Okay. There is a pretty girl yelling at you to calm down, but you're calm. So, I'm just getting a little confused, love. I have no idea who this variant is that you're even trying to talk to. You know who you are. You do. You definitely know who you are. Oh, I still know my name. Okay. You know, you you know who you are. You just don't know them anymore. So it didn't have the effect, damn. Or wait, no, rather. So it would have been like, oh, it's weird that you seem to have a fellow in your party named Varian. That's my name. That's kind of strange that you'd be looking for somebody with the same it's name not as me. Or frightened. Hmm. Okay. Well. I mean. You did mention that I was showing you around town before. So I guess I could keep doing that. There is a few places I haven't shown you. May as well walk you as far as the inn. Yeah, why don't you just come out with us over in this direction where we heard nothing, but we're just curious about it. And keep on rolling those checks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, Are you going to go with them? Yeah. 
You're not going to go with them. I, I rolled a six. Okay. You're okay. you're good where you are. You're chilling with your friends, uh, Wolfa and Francis. I, yep, that's what I chose for those guys. Best pals. I will, will turn back and see. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, turn back. I will see her phase of trying, like pausing and trying to convince uh, a rev variant, excuse me, to come with us and just crack my neck. <clears throat> Let me try. Uh, howdy, friend. Uh, you were showing us around earlier, and I just. I want to make sure we don't get into any trouble here in your lovely town. We'll make sure we don't cause any problems and we find the inn without uh, bothering any other of the lovely people here in this wonderful little hamlet you've got for yourselves. I was hoping you would do us the honor of just ensuring we don't get into any trouble. I'm sure it's a short walk. I know it's going to put you a little out of your ways, but if you would be kind enough to just do us the favor... Not just for our sake, but we want to make sure we don't bother any other people. I I would like to try and persuade him to come with us. All right, you can roll persuasion. If you want to roll against that to not go, what should we roll for that? Let's see. Um, well, what, why, don't, throw? What, why don't you roll whatever your persuasion is, and then that will be like my DC for a charisma saving throw to see whether I listen or not? <laughs> uh, 32. You're listening. <laughs> Let's just be honest. You're probably <laughs> listening. <laughs> I rolled a 19 and I have a plus 13. Okay. Because, so, meta moment, I'm sorry. As a player, I obviously want to stay with my party, but I'm also under an effect where I don't know you. So, like, <laughs> no. You're I'm still Varian, though. We just need to and Varian doesn't have true. a problem meeting new people. No, this this is true. Like, it, it's just sort of like very conflicting. Like, I'm trying to piece together mm-hmm. exactly how I would act if I didn't know who they were, and because they they've been talking crazy, right? Like, I'm still Varian, but these people are be like, we know you by name. Like, you've been advent like come with us. I just had a little girl yelling at me. Like, ah, it's kind of weird. I, I'm not sure I want to hang out with you people right now, but. Um, he he says this and he goes. I go. I've been having a bit of a lazy day. I could use a couple more steps, I suppose. You don't stay looking like me if you don't uh, actually get out there and exercise from time to time. So. And you are very good looking. Oh well, thank you. Didn't catch your name. Sorry. Hi, I'm Faisa. It's really nice to meet you. Varian, well, was it? It's really nice to meet you, love. Huh. That's shocking. I don't quite see. Uh. Many lovely ladies like you come through the town. And uh, he oh, starts we'll to be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get him to come with you. Oh, he's he's going at this point. Great or good. All right, uh, we're hustling over to where the scream was. So you begin to walk through this town. Um, let's see here. Uh, you, you notice there's like Obviously, you see the well that's a circular, you know, stone well in the middle of the town that's been boarded over. Um, you see something called uh, as to as anvil, which is, you know, uh, like almost like a little uh, forge. Um, there's the black axe, which looks like it may be the inn. Uh, and then there's something called like the pixie king, which is a really it's like a, it's really just kind of a another house that looks like it may be a pub of some sorts um and you head through this small town when you get to the other side of the town you hear whispers people are watching you walk through this town like you're new you don't belong here you're new uh other than varian by the way who kind of starts getting waves Uh, yeah um but people are tense they're breathing a little bit heavier than normal they're still waving to varian but still like their eyes say something (laughs) very different you know what i mean you don't you don't see anything unless you guys want to start investigating places my 
detect thoughts lasts i think a minute okay um would it still be up at any for any of this can i like pop into any of their heads i'll say you don't get so much thoughts as feelings of panic and danger and then nothing it all seems to just be there there's just nothing eventually they don't calm down but it's gone there's no thoughts there okay can you detect varian's thoughts is that would that be the same or a little different because he's newer well Uh, they've done this on me before and they were yeah can you get a rev in there (laughs) i mean not before you couldn't but now you might yeah, if you want to roll for a ref, see if he's like screaming inside a little <laughs> bit. Do you want to see if a ref was uh got uh, was can you give me a wisdom saving throw for him? Um a rev. Sorry, two seconds because apparently I turned his character sheet into winters. <laughs> oh, uh oh wow, okay. Uh plus 22 for him <laughs> arrives inside just like what no! is wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> if only there was a way to bring him out even more stressful than usual being trapped inside his own mind you could try and take a nap i don't know man <laughs> yeah probably not the best place for it <laughs> um i think hearing the calls of danger from everyone i'll just as subtly as possible Put a hand on my armor and armor of Agathis myself at fourth level. Just in case. He's, he's a out of the hour. corner of her eyes and she's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, fuck. I'm like, okay. Lasts an hour, just in case. 20 extra right. hit, temporary hit points is nice. Uh, what are you guys doing? I want to um, look around for the source of whoever was yelling. Unless, do you have a more concrete idea? <laughs> nope, that was my plan. If that okay. all fails, we go down the well because that's where I saw his mom. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can you do like a perception or like investigation, I guess? Uh, yes, you can do whichever you prefer. Wait, definitely perception. <laughs> also, definitely Not perception. investigation. Uh, dirty 20. With your Natural dirty 20, 20. and your... Ooh! Okay. Okay. And your Third, 20. That 20 today. You're freaking on fire today. Okay. <laughs> With your dirty 20 you look around the people and you see one of the one of the uh women there is kind of shaking uh she's got really glassy eyes like she's about to cry but uh is almost going about daily life except she's got a bucket in her hands like she's got to go to the well and is clearly hesitating um and uh, let me see. I have their names here. Uh, 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 uh. She's actually kind of got a friend nearby that's looking at her like this is the worst thing that you could have to do. There's like the the tension is very high. Is there anything that you want to do with that? And Damascus, with your nat twenty, you notice that there's kind of almost a. <laughs> a set of like drag tracks almost like something very large has been dragging around here in circles or through here uh and all of them go to the well oh i don't like that i will <laughs> message gilly and then Faza and winter and point out the drag marks and just mm. There's something real big and real scary. Everybody's here up front. Everybody here's frightened of all sounds lead back to the well. I think if we're going to free Varian from whatever the fuck's going on with his head, we might have to poke our heads down there ourselves. Can we talk back? I don't know. Uh, do you have message or anything like That's that? That's what I'm using. It's, I I'm don't using message. I think I do. Uh, yes, they can, they can whisper back. Yes, in yes. A whisper only I can hear. Yeah. Okay. Good. Can I respond um... to this message. <laughs> <laughs> to this message. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm going to mention that I saw Rebella's daddy 
potentially. I'm going to convey that little message. And then I'm going to point out, is there any way we can maybe stash the kid before we go fight a monster and a whale? That seems like irresponsible child supervision. High or low? And let me just... Okay, I have decided which is which. High or low? High. Okay. That's what you're going to go with. Now continue your, your talk. <laughs> I look around for one, Raybella, and two, a place to stash Raybella. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming she's still riding the tiger, right? Do you think the tiger would... We don't have a rave to talk to the tiger, but do you think we could tell the tiger to watch the child? I think Ray Bella might be able to talk to the tiger and tell yes, it. That's true. Ray Bella had gotten down to to try and get Varian to stay with you guys at first. Um, but she is walking around with you, and you notice um that the tiger is now kind of almost hovering over her. Like he's that she's started like pulling Ray Bella back so that she can't get far enough away from her, but the tiger is stressed as fuck. Okay, good, good. All right, that makes sense to me. I will uh, bend down and go... Uh, I'm gonna... This is all message. I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna make it look like I'm, like, tying her shoe or something, fixing something, and then I'll message her in her head and go, Ravella, darling, don't freak out. I need to talk in your heads just because it ain't safe here there's something big and scary in the well and we might have to deal with it can you let Sasha know that he needs to take you somewhere safe find a spot behind a house or something where you can hide and make sure you aren't involved in any of it you're gonna hide as good as you can find a spot behind a tree or something where nobody's gonna see you can you do that for me She's nodding at you, um, and she turns to Sasha and begins to, like, reiterate that to her. Um, And, uh, Varian, you now feel like you've been here forever, but you still know who you are. You still know who Arev is. You still have memories of those family members and such. You just... This is this is your home. This is where you live. You have no reason to to leave here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, as you kind of notice, these people are acting a little bit strange around you right now. Uh, you hear Arev, and from across the almost couple couple houses away from you uh a god damn this just keeps getting worse this poor child mm-hmm. uh payless is human half brother uh he is kind of coming out of a house he's tall he's athletically built he's got caramel skin uh he's very well put together um has dark brown hair and eyes uh and is very he's kind of like i don't even know how to say it he just always has that sneer on his face that like and you know that he's here and he's been here for a while and you guys i mean you ended up in the same place i mean it doesn't say it doesn't mean that you like him but Who are these people you're speaking with? And Ray Bella goes, <gasps> Daddy! Which is good, because she's saving me from speaking right now. <laughs> and I'm so sad! <laughs> he doesn't recognize her? No, because he, he looks down at her and is just kind of like, Oh no! It's this kid, right? Like, the look he gives her is just one of just absolute, like, no. Can you guys roll me insight on him? 
rolling on fire. Right. Eleven. Eleven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay, uh, Gilly, Yellow. you're not. You don't see it. Four. You don't see it. Uh, yeah. With your twenty-eight, it almost looks like doing that broke him, but he doesn't know why. I will shoot a message into Raybella's head and just go, darling, whatever's that fog stuff, it's affecting your daddy. We're going to fix him. We're going to make him better. But I think we need to deal with whatever's down the well first. No. And she's going through her bag and she's pulling out one of these drawings that she made of him. Ooh. And she's like, she's walking up to him and she's like, you're a daddy. And she's showing it to him and he's Is this it's your worth, child? It is so worth a second level spell. I'm oh, going no. to cast <laughs> suggestion. Oh no! On, on this gentleman, oh. and the suggestion is going to be he has to do this for the next eight hours, which means I am concentrating <laughs> on this spell for the entire time we are doing this fight. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to suggest to him. Don't I'm you struggling here. Her? She's your daughter. You should act like it. Wisdom saving throw? It is a wisdom saving throw. DC is 19. And I am also going to use a bonus action to use a bardic inspiration to make him have to reduce. I feel so bad for this child. So <laughs> don't bother. Don't bother. Okay. Don't bother. Don't bother. Okay. Don't bother. Okay. Don't bother. Don't waste it. He got in that one. Okay. I, did. I didn't waste it. Nice. So what are you saying to him? He's, this is your daughter. Don't you recognize her? You should act like it. All right, all right. And you say that's concentrating on this for the next eight hours. Okay, then no, that's fine. You see him almost kind of shake his head, uh, and it looks like he's almost fighting that, but then goes and kind of kneels down in front of him and goes, "I am sorry. I don't know what came over me, little one." And she leaps into his arms and it's like, "It's okay. We're gonna fix it, Daddy." Uh, and he looks back at you and almost goes I suppose thank you for finding her and he'll pick her up you're welcome give Varian who is a rev a very <laughs> the glare of like and like he's not sure what he's doing here something is wrong um and you can actually tell uh, Damascus that he's struggling. He's fighting something. Mm -hmm. And he'll pick her up and just sort of walk away from you. And Sasha will go with her. And he'll uh, actually no, turn around and be like, come Sasha. I have no idea if Sasha mm. can understand me at all, but I'll just say, actually, I can make Sasha understand me. I'm going to use my stupid feature that I almost never get a chance to use that makes creatures understand me. Universal speech. Uh, chosen creatures can magically understand me regardless of the language I speak. Cool. I'm going to make Sasha understand me and I'm going to say, Sasha, keep an eye on him, keep him safe, keep him somewhere protected. We'll check in on you in a little bit. She gives you this look like she doesn't know who you are. Sasha, oh, baby. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, no. I'm gonna go punch the well. <laughs> I eldritch blast the well. Fuck this. It's time to fight a well. <laughs> you want to go down the well? Uh, I Damascus is gonna look at at Gilly and be like, "We should go check out what's down the fucking well." I think so. Yeah. Can I actually? Can I request a five minute break? I think I got to use my yes, inhaler. Yes, I was just gonna say Thank before you. we go down, yeah. uh, we're gonna take a five minute break while I set some stuff up. Uh, and we'll be we'll fight. right back. And you guys need to get into a well to see what's happening here. What do? Okay, so the well's covered. Yeah, it's all boarded up. It's been like nailed and stuff like that. But it looks like it gets ripped off almost regularly. So those nails are not into anything. It's just got a very heavy board over top of it. 
Well, well, well. <laughs> Damascus is not strong. Um, Yilly's strong. Do you want to like do you my whole just, thing? Like try and lift it off. Sure thing. I I mean, there's no way we're gonna like stealthily do this, right? Because it seems everyone's quite <laughs> aware of the well. Everyone is watching you okay. walk over to that well, and the tension is rising. So, not to say that I have a bad feeling about whatever you're going to do. Um, feeling a little protective over the well there. Can you mind filling me in on why you're getting so close? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you're so fucking Kelly. Thank you, Rebella. I have a hunch that uh, there's a problem in this well that you all probably want us to solve, if we can. Uh, When she says that, uh, immediately that something runs through your head, Varian, and it's the well's poison. You don't go in the well. You don't. You the well's poison. The water in the well is poison. If you drink from the well, you're not going. You're not going to be. You're not going to feel good later. You see, it's my due diligence as a citizen of this fine city here to just let you know that um, the, the water in that well, it, it's boarded up because it's poisonous on the inside. You drink it and you kind of go go off the deep end, as it were. So we don't want you to... It's boarded up for your safety. I appreciate that. We're well inspectors. That's uh, That's why we're here. <laughs> We are yeah. world inspectors. Yeah, we we were well, uh, sent. Well. We were sent from Thon to uh, try and actually um, uh, fix the problem. Oh wait! So you're you the were... people from from health and wellness then? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Precisely. We were told to look for um, poison. Uh, someone. Yeah. And if you could just like help us around since you're from here then maybe we can just make this town a little bit better and she she gives you this like huge smile and like bats her eyelashes at you so I have a question okay how much time do you need exactly get in into the well I'd say really? about 30 seconds really the depends on what's going on down there what's poisoning the well well to get in let's get in yeah. we i mean we should probably open it first and see what's down there hey you big one and i gestured uh to gilly and I, for a I, second I... uh for a second you winter's like <laughs> <laughs> oh is he not the big one anymore <laughs> Go ahead. And uh, I venture over, and then I go, you, handsome chap. Yeah, what did you need? No, sorry, him. <laughs> and uh, he points at Winter. Uh, yes. So um, put your hands on the wards here, that there and uh, you over there. Okay. I'm suspicious Locked of this for the, the record. <laughs> right? <laughs> And Winter doesn't even think about it. He just does it. <laughs> and I, I imagine that the townsfolk are getting pretty prickly watching us do this, right? You begin to see some of them start going into houses. Uh, you guys start hearing things like uh, chains start going around doors. You said people are getting too tense. They're not going to stay out. I he, not stopping us. He, 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 he turns to Gilly. And he goes. You said you needed 30 seconds. Give or take. I can give you at least 12. And then as soon as he says that, the entire area plummets into darkness as I set a spell of darkness cloud on our spot so that nobody can see what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you want to roll strength? Yes. See, you, you just heft it up. All right. Because it, it was described as like barely even nailed down, right? So it shouldn't yeah. be too bad. You should be able to. And you know what? You can do it with advantage because um, Winter's going to help you from the other side. Ooh. 
That's what I set it up. Mm. I was hoping for that. Yeah. 18. 18. Not Perfect. That's it's All enough. Right. <laughs> you guys, you and Winter just take off the lid, put it to the side. And if you guys want to jump down, you can. But you don't know how deep it is. You don't know what's going to happen. Fucking Geronimo, man. Geronimo, you, you just jump. down the well. <laughs> You're like, down the well. I don't even need to breathe. It's cool. Whatever. You jump. and Trident's at the very... out. Trident's out. <laughs> Trident's out. You're just jumping down. And it there's you guys almost hear like a... And, and Faze is like, I guess she went down. Uh, so, I, like, if I am alive, I will yell up that I'm alive so they know that I'm alive. <laughs> you hit the water and you're like, oi! <laughs> you know? Perfect. <laughs> uh, which is like, okay, I'll go next. And he just will follow you. Uh, Faza will kind of drag Damascus in the right direction. Uh, and you... She'll Is go down after. Varian coming. I grab Winter's arm, mm-hmm. pull Winter's body up next to mine, and then buckle backwards so that he goes forward and I pull him into the well. <laughs> Why? I was gonna. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna go. He could have just flown and not landed. Yeah, he could have. Uh, I'll go and I'll I'll hop down with Faza. Uh, and you guys are now in the well, and as you fall, you fall about fifty feet into a big underground. Not big; it's a small underground like lake, almost like a basin. Yeah, um, a reservoir. So, what happens is like it's it's more like just a what are those things called? The hole. The hole of water. Pond? There's one there's one in, in Tobomori. Oh, the A grotto. Oh, what are they called? A grotto. Ah. That, right? Uh so you fall down into this this uh dark cave. Uh and most of you can see in the dark, I think, but you would need a little bit of light. The fog the darkness up up at the top kind of goes out, and there is some then. Uh so you can see that you are in, and let me get this open. Oh, I have so many things open. Uh, so my bad. It's it's seventy feet down that well. Uh, and oh shit. Uh, can you? I'll make you do that after. Uh, so the, you go down the well. The center of the room. There's a the cl- the clear grotto. Uh, when you fall in there you need to swim out so you've got about 25 feet around you if you want to get out of that water i'll swim my way out of the water all right so uh if you go over to your roll 20 you'll see that i've made your little map there and you're in a very dark cave there are i think it's stalagmites the ones that come up from the ground Yes. Yes. Nice. yes. Okay. Stalagmites on the ground. There are there's like a bit of like vines and like dead dried up bushes and stuff around this little this little uh alcove here. Some mushrooms. What to do? Fizzle will like get out here. Yes. How do I feel now that I'm inside the well? How do you oh, feel? Boy. Okay, well, I'll make you do it now then. Um, so can everybody give me a wisdom saving throw minus uh, d4 at the end? Uh-oh. Yep. It's not good. Go ahead. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, Gilly, you're in the place that you've been. You know you shouldn't be down here. This is the, the water's poison down here. Crap. Um, am I near Winter still? Hold on. I swam nope. Out. He's swam out this <laughs> yeah. way. He's over here. Uh, Thank are you moving yourself out of the water at all, uh, Varian? Oh. Yes, I I, w- I would follow Winter. Okay, so then you're out here next to him. You can make that I save. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. All right, you make it. Yeah, you're good. 
with Winter's yeah. bonus, I got a 14. You got a 14. Oh, fucking one. You're <laughs> off by one. <laughs> I'm uh, determined to die today, Jess. Oh my god, you don't even have fucking... The other one of you is the one who casts Guidance. Wait. Um... um... Um, can I? No, it's whenever I make an attack roll ability check or saving throw. Okay. I got nothing. Uh, I use lucky on I better him. see if, make sure I don't have any sort of like. Shenanigan dice. Yeah. Do. And lucky that it only works nobody, on me. nobody. Uh, I don't think Faza has anything either. Um, been on deck saving throw. All right. You, you're still the same, Varian. You do know that, like, You've down here with these people to start. You're trying to help. Um, what about Faza and Winter? Oh shit! What about Faza? Of course he would. Uh, win- Winter crit. Okay, Winter's so. Winter's good. He's he's uh Durr. good. Okay, co. Cool. God damn it, guys. Uh, <laughs> 15 minus a d4, right? So it's minus yeah. 2, 13 plus 2, 15. 15. Okay, here, beats it, beats it. We're good. That's she's nice. she's good. She still knows what's going on. Guys, oh, guys, we're not supposed to be down here. Shit. I mean, this that's, is what I've been this entire, that's what I've been saying the entire time. You still wanted to come down here. You even lifted us up so you could get down. Uh, oh, my friend Varian. Yes, my good friend Varian, Varian. You know her now. That's Gilly. She lives oh, here sh- with you. Sh- Bestie, Gilly. why didn't you stop me? Uh, I've been trying I don't to know st- what I was thinking. I've, I've been trying to stop them the entire time. I was going off your lead. You were telling us it was a good idea. Now we're down here. It's, uh, I'm going to blame you for the whole damn thing. It's okay. We're here Fair to help. Enough. We're here to help. Remember? Maybe okay. there's something down here that's that's poisoning the well. Did anyone know that there was a big cave down here? Did we? You did not. No. So then there could be something down here that shouldn't be down here, right? Literally unaware. We should follow the cave to the end. We are the health and wellness inspectors. Whatever lab we told them. I suppose we can't climb up. No, that's that's very far. Um we'll have to we'll have to figure it out. What's down here first, and then try and figure our way out. Only way out is through. Um, and uh, as she says that, I'm going to have everyone roll initiative for me, as so I can do things in different orders. So yeah. Um, That's, a crit. That's my third crit tonight. You need it. I'm rolling uh, fire tonight. What did your What's your thing? Uh, that is twenty five total. Cool. All right. I hate math. It's okay. 16. Uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Gilly, where are you, Gilly? Gilly, 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 Gilly. There you are. There was something on my thing about initiative. What was my initiative? Do you have advantage on it? Mm, Where'd it go? There should be like an A at the top near advantage. Mm. Oh, you made an actual character sheet. I didn't say so. No, it was one of my like feats or something. Pretty sure barbarians have advantage on initiative. You it might have just have affected my uh, modifier what did, what did you already. You have advantage and a plus seven. I just looked at your character sheet. Oh, advantage? Okay, wait. Yeah, because yeah, you're a barbarian. Barbarians Ooh. all have advantage. Oh, natural 20 on the second one. All right, so you're at 27. Go. Let's do all that. Right. Okay. Uh, 27. First. What about... Um, I know. Yes. I... Severian got an 18. Okay, good. Winter got a 13. Winter got a 13. Okay, Winter. And Faza? 13. 13. Uh, who's got higher decks? She's uh, 14. Probably her. Can't imagine Winter's dexterity is higher than 14. James, that's you. I said Winter got a 13? Yes. Yes. Have, what's, his de- what's his dex? Plus one, so it's thirteen because okay. I rolled a twelve. All right, because we have two thirteens, so I'm just going to put her at fourteen. That oh, is... sorry, I was yeah, like cool. reading something on Winter's character sheet, so I apologize. Okie dokie. Uh, and let's see here. Um, 
Muriel, you will actually be going first as you get out of the this water. What are you doing? And unfortunately, I'm the one that like is under these effects. But I guess I, I mean, I'm still like myself with my like instincts and stuff, right? I just mm-hmm. don't think we mm-hmm. should be down here. Okay, Trident out. Um. Well, I'm looking around. What's what's the stuff that we can see down here on the on the map? So you've got you've got like this blue and purple mushroom going on here. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a couple of mar- mushrooms. It looks like there's like some flower over here in front of you. Uh, by that stalagmite uh, across to the to the left of that other stalagmite, it looks like maybe there's like a wild patch of garlic. Um, there's some tree. There's some like dead branches. Uh, on the left hand side of this uh grotto and then that's what you can see moving or not moving but like what you can see right now okay um but got my trident out i guess i would like to just sort of approach the opening of the Kate, I'm pointing as though you can see where I'm pointing on the screen. <laughs> like to approach the opening of the cave so that I'm sort of between opening of cave and everybody else okay. and see if I can see anything else in that passage. Hang on. So I'm checking it out. So you're going to be passing like that that big mushroom there is what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> she said <laughs> reluct- reluctantly. <laughs> Um, let me just see. As you go to pass it, you are you like as you're approaching it, you see it kind of shiver. Ooh. And as it shivers, there's another mushroom that was behind it, on like kind of growing. There's like a patch growing out of walls, and they begin to almost light up iridescently. Uh oh, lovely. Um. <laughs> And you can see that next to them is like this weird big black flower. And that kind of sets off, you know, a little shiver from the little garlic patch. And that movement sets off. Oh, it looks like something moving on the walls. Maybe the rocks are moving. And you hear then those branches creak. Hey guys, I think there may be. I was gonna say we shouldn't move, but I'm not sure what else we can do. <laughs> Something's happening. Try forking it out of the way. <laughs> I think that might be the bad idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, okay. might make the mushrooms are they, mad. Are they magic mushrooms? <laughs> they could be magic mushrooms. I'm not a fucking expert, mate. We hit a druid. We don't have a druid right now. This is such a bad idea. Can you do your your thing where you do with the eyes? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Who does what with the eyes? The you thing that you magic. did that you taught rebel. Oh right. Yeah, sure. I can do that. I've got two more of that. I'm gonna do that. All right. I have no idea. It's oh, magical awareness. Think it's a good idea. Magical awareness. Um, Presumably they're see. magical. Let's see. Do I get let's any see. more? We have... I know the yeah. location of magic things and I know the school of magic. Okay. Uh, they're all... Okay, I'll give you that some of the... You, you get that some of them can cast spells. Uh, okay. but otherwise, they're... They seem like plants, um, and like they seem like plants and beasts and stuff. Oh, okay. We got both plants. flora and fauna, and some of them can cast spells. That's all I got. Sorry. As rule, I don't think mushrooms can cast spells. Also, mushrooms ain't plants, so they ain't mushrooms. That's a good point. All right, fine, okay, but they're plants in the goddamn fucking. I know, D and D is wrong. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh... 
I, okay. I th- Is there I, anything I think... else I can do? Not really. <laughs> uh, you can you can try and like go across them. You can go past it if you want. Well, I don't want. <laughs> However, I don't know what else we've got to eventually. Is there? Hmm. I gotta get pretty close to it to get past it. Or I could just... Can I just swim across the water instead you of can. going close? To, you I you like can. To. You have no problem doing that. <laughs> I'd like to do that. You, you just zip past that. You're like, you know what? It's cool. And you're, yeah. past, you can go past it. So did they seem to react when I was moving farther away? Um, there's the, I feel like everything just kind of like... Okay, well, I guess we'll get a little closer. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. it's the there are... you've intrigued whatever is down here. Great. <laughs> so you've moved what thirty feet? You've gone through the water. Mm, you're what five feet in in front of, just out of the water in the. Okay. Uh... okay yeah. Uh, this is not going well for me. I'm not speaking correctly. <laughs> you're right. You're basically right here with Damascus. Yeah. And um, if I can see anything into that passage, I would be interested to look, but you can light. see a bit, and what you see is that it begins to turn. Okay. It begins to you go you see a whole bunch of more like stone walls that begin to turn inwards. No visible giant monsters. No. Yet. <laughs> uh next is Damascus. All right. Um, Damascus is pretty sure these mushrooms are evil mushrooms and going to kill us. Um, but not positive. Um, so he's going to test it out. He is going to, is, you said that there is one right near, like, the mouth of the cave. Um, Damascus is going to walk. That is a flower that you just pinned. Yeah, that's a black flower. None of them have been threatening yet. Okay. Damascus is going to just walk one, two, three, right up to next to the flower and try and walk past it, see what it does. The moment that you get up to the flower, mm-hmm. this little patch of wild garlic whispers, don't. The, 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 there's a patch of wild garlic garlic this, 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 this thing here don't. is a little patch of wild garlic and it's not evil or anything like that it's a little fey that looks like garlic as i'm about to walk up to it, it says yeah. that. okay so then i would stop short of that don't don't what the flower causes things to happen Then he'll try and go around the flower. Two, three. Called a gloom flower. Gloom flower. Well, that ain't a good sound. All right, friend. A- any of these other fellas, friends of yours? No. All right. Um, I'm going to walk up. And what's this thing here? Well, uh, where you're pinging, <laughs> you, hear, you hear as you're walking past that you hear. Don't. Well, I gotta get into the cave. It's not my problem. He's trying to help you. He's just not. He, he is. I'm gonna. I, I'll let. I'll take a hit. I'm gonna walk up to this thing here. This. Mm-hmm. What? Is, what is that? I can't it's a even rock tell. Roach. A rock roach. I am going to walk oh. up to the wa- rock roach and mm-hmm. see how it reacts as I walk up next to it to scooge my way past the flower. Oy, oy, okay, hang on. I got armor to get this up. I got some temporary hit Are points. You, you're just walking by it. At yeah. the moment, I am just walking up next to it, and then I'm going to pause for a second and see how it reacts before I continue moving. It's It's... it's doesn't have it's not aggressive unless you do anything to it 
It's eating its rock. It's eating the rock. Okay. I will allow it to continue eating the rock. And walk on past three. So hang on, it's here. Two, okay. three, four. And I can get right next to my new garlic friend. All right. So that's what I'm you do. are now up to your little garlic hole there. I go, appreciate the advice. Uh, everyone stay away from the flower thing. Don't bother the thing eating the rock. And my action will be to uh, hold an Eldritch Blast to blast anything that attacks any of my comrades. So if anything so, tries to hurt somebody, I'm Eldritch Blast them in the face. You're right beside this garlicle. And as mm-hmm. you get up there, uh, you're going to need to roll me a constitution saving throw because it really, really smells of garlic there. And it's strong. It's actually called the tear for, tear, tearful stench. Okay. <laughs> they obviously haven't spent much time ordering shawarma. That's my fourth nat 20. Okay, you're fine. Yes. This, dice. this dice is you're, amazing. You begin you're not to a like. Vampire. You know, it's a little strong. You gotta like wipe it away a little. Your the tears coming out, but you're fine. It's I just breathe very in strong deeply. garlic. I breathe in deeply and go. Reminds me of mama's cooking. <laughs> Your mom would be fucking offended. <laughs> Mama loves garlic. Garlic's amazing. Garlic is good, but it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, you're fine. Okay. Um. Uh, that's pretty much what I got. All right. Uh, then it is these vines. Let's see here. This tree. Well, who's next to them? Uh, ooh. You're aggressive, aren't you? Yeah, you are. The vines, on the other hand, are right next, to, right in front of um, Varian. And they have no problem trying to reach out and grab him and they're gonna take they're gonna take um three attacks at varian oh no as they try and uh grab can i interrupt yes i did what? Pre- i did prepare my you reaction did do it go ahead and uh the two is probably not gonna hit 19 on the dice probably will. A 19 plus two, uh, 12. 20, uh, 31. 31 will hit. Um, Let's see here. Go ahead. I'm going to do force. One. I get to re-roll ones. That's a six plus seven. 13 radiant damage. All right. I was really, I was like, I wonder if they'll get out of this without having to fight. But... And um, I push him 10 feet oh. in the opposite direction of me. Okay. Hopefully out of uh, reach of Varian. In the opposite direction, she would be into this, uh, yeah. into the stalagmite right here. Mm-hmm. So um, it's almost like it's separating them just a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. Um, but then it's his turn. <laughs> Which means, well, it can still move, so it'll just yeah. walk back. Uh, let's see. It'll make those attacks then. Oh, oh, uh, and then like you notice that once you've made that first attack, it kind of seems to rile everything else up. Mm-hmm. Everything was very not hostile until you blasted it. Other than these vines, because they don't give a shit. I mean, they started it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Uh, Let's see here. It lashes out with its thorny vines. And let's see. A 21. An 8. And a 16. Varian. Varian. Those all hit. All of uh, the eight? Eight? Oh, I heard 18. I heard 20, eight. 18, to 16. That's why. Gay of okay. the eight hits. Doesn't um, hit. Let's see here. <laughs> so 
you take 11 slashing damage the first time and 20 damage the next time and you are grappled and restrained yep. as it begins to kind of bring you towards it. Varian, it is, it, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, it is my turn. So as I've been grappled and restrained, I just sort of get a minute ago. Huh. Well, this isn't poison, but this is just about as bad. And immediately would like to well, I'd like to do magic of some kind is what I would like oh my god Varian wake up <laughs> do something <laughs> oh no it I'm gonna make a really bad idea oh, happen god. okay so um, as I have been sort of sucked forward into this thing, uh, be- being restrained and grappled, I can still cast spells. Uh, speed becomes zero, attack rolls, my creatures, my- okay, grappled. Uh, you can still attack too, so yeah. No, restrained is, it just means you can't leave, right? You have, uh, you have to use your action to escape. Disadvantage yes. on attack rolls and advantage on attack rolls against him. So, yeah. however, but don't you have um, spell? Oh, I, I do, but I don't. I don't need to because, like, I can still make somatic uh, components even while restrained or grappled. But like, so I am sitting there and I'm getting grappled and I'm going. Sorry, Rebella, for this one. And smack my hands together and go, burn, and just rip my hands out, <laughs> casting nice, uh, not thunder wave, but transmuted spell into fire wave. Okay, uh, and I'm casting a first level uh, fire wave, which uh, forces it to make a Constitution saving throw against my spell save DC. Shit. Um. It. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna have to roll this twice. I think. That's. Oh, that's a three. Okay. And that's a fourteen. Let's see. Um. And it adds plus four. That's an eighteen. Ah. So it succeeds. Yeah. And uh, doing that, I'll give you. I'll just give you like it has magic resistance. With advantage. Yeah. Um, uh, uh. Well, it takes half damage and isn't pushed off of me, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Uh, but uh, can, I, can I silvery barbs it? Sure. And make it reroll. I'll silvery barbs it. Do... Under 10, so you're probably fine. What happens? Okay. What, what? What, 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 what? Now I'm scared. What? <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm, yeah, go! I, I'm just... Because I'm panicking in DM mode. What? Because didn't you use your reaction by preparing your action to use it mm. off your turn? <laughs> I did. You're right, I did. I, I missed that. You're absolutely right, I did. Because like, reminding me. I, I want... <laughs> but I want you to silver bar. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to... Be, that's why I was trying to keep my mouth shut. But like, it was Stop being good face. at D&D. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, you're right. I always forget that Preparing uses your reaction. Now you you're... yeah, that's weird. It's, yeah, I hate it's, that. it's it's a weird design space. Yes, mm-hmm. it it's very odd. Damn. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so it'll take half of the two d eight fire damage. Uh, but hang on. Which I think is so stupid that it doesn't have any kind of like. It should have some sort of. It's it's dried fucking sticks like. <laughs> Burn, bitch! <laughs> it, it, it'll Feels take like four, it would have an extra. Four points of fire damage. Oh, man. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, it's... Okay. Not that much. Great. Fantastic. Anything else you want to do? I don't... <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> right. I'd like uh, to bonus action panic. Good. 
Pa- bonus oh, action, you panic. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a storm sorcerer. Uh-huh. Whenever whenever I cast uh, a first level spell, uh, where is it? Um, uh, so it also takes five lightning or thunder damage just automatically. So it takes okay. an, an additional five lightning damage. Okay, I'll add that. Uh, and oh, only if it deals lightning or thunder damage, right? Shut up, Daniel. Um, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You're right. Yeah, sorry. It's That's fine. We give it five damage this turn, okay? It's got a <laughs> lot of health. But uh, w- <laughs> what, I, what I was looking for was my tempestuous magic. Mm-hmm. So as a bonus action, I can cause gusts of air to surround me before or after I cast a spell first level or higher that allows me to fly up to 10 feet without provoking op- opportunity attacks. But I'm restrained <laughs> and gap- grappled. I mean, though... So, like, if I'm, like, casting this, like, fire wave, like, do I create, like, a, a fiery, like, gust of air and just sort of, like, rip I'll myself allow you, out of... I'll allow you to, to escape with that because there's no opportunity attacks. It's, I'll say you can... You'll just escape. Because it that's, that's one of those weird things. Like, I don't know. I'm restrained and grappled, right? Like, I, I'm technically trapped. But if I'm also going, like... And like exploding out of there. Here's here's what we'll do. We'll, fingers, we'll give like... it. We'll give it a chance to try and hold on to you. But it's you're it, you're ten feet in the air and it's going to be hanging from you. So it's it's not doing great. Then, you know what I mean? Yes. We'll see. We're going to give it a strength save, and it's going to fail horribly. So it just falls to the ground. Okay. Uh. So yeah. I I, I basically like I want to to buck myself backwards here. Uh, I I actually would have figured that I would have flown behind River, just like straight back, just pew. behind Winter. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. Because it, it's it each of these squares is five feet, correct? Yes. Um. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So. Uh, he ducks so he doesn't get just totaled by you. And he's like, God, just warning. Um. Maybe I wanted next- you to catch me. Nick, okay, oh, it's my bad. I should have done that. Uh, and now it is Lee Faze's turn, Daniel. Um. Oh, okay, I, I guess we're killing all of these things. Okay. Um. Yeah, so good job. <laughs> everybody's like, I guess, I guess so. Uh, Faza will. Hang on. I mean the thing the thing that attacked me, Faisal, was pretty hostile, so at least kill that one. Okay. Faisal's gonna move. Uh yeah, she'll go after the one that attacked you, actually. That's the only one that seems dangerous at the moment. Uh she'll give it a good old fashioned I think she's gonna go just cantrips for the moment. You know. Uh, yeah, she'll do a firebolt at it. Do you have firebolt? No. Uh, she's going to do a... Look at what she has, man! She'll touch at it. Uh, okay, cool. Is that within range? Uh, 120 foot range, so yeah. Okay, cool. Knock her. Do it. Oh, wait. Go ahead. 28 to hit. 28, 28 will hit. And she does nine necrotic damage. Nine necrotic damage. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Uh, nine. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no, there's no save. It's fine. No save. It's an attack roll. Okay. Go for it. You're done. Uh, next. She's yes? Move a little further away. She's going to move here. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We're going to roll to see how this roach is reacting because now you've started fighting by it. And it's just going to go run and hide somewhere. Oh, perfect. 
it, I'm yeah, actually going to it love it. so poorly. It's a two. It rolled so poorly that it's just going to start digging into the ground and hide. I love the rock roach. It's it's a little bitch, apparently. <laughs> um, then we're going to go to this strobing fungus, Same. which was starting to light up. So it's going to... What does it do here? So it's going to... Uh, uh, ooh, okay, cool. Is this that guy up there? The <laughs> yellow one, I believe, on the wall. Let me check here. This one right here. Ah, uh, okay. That, that's phases back there. Uh, so this yellow one on the wall that's that started to light up and glow. It is going to... It doesn't have anyone that's in its range. Oh, no, it does. It's within 120 feet. Cool. Uh, it's just gonna shoot. What the fuck are you doing? What are you ta- chemical burn? Okay, I didn't read that. Uh, it's gonna just shoot some 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 acid at at Damascus. That. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna see if it hits you. This reminds him of his younger college years. Uh, <laughs> at twenty four. Uh, acid and mushrooms. Jesus, I'm back at school already. Uh, yeah, 24 hits. Okay, so that's 21 uh, dam- acid damage. Ooh, and uh, a 15? A no, wait, sorry, that's 15. not 15. Sorry. To hit is a 7. So that doesn't happen. Cool. Yeah. Uh, did you have 21 acid damage? Yeah, I did, yeah. That's, that's uh, and that's it's not, it's not done. As a bonus action, it begins to strobe and it emits a powerful strobing light that rapidly alternates between shedding bright light in a 60 foot radius and shedding no light, creating a very dizzying effect unless, you know, there's like ambient light or something. Uh, but this this thing literally dropped you some acid and then began to strobe. And then began, began to like, <laughs> so, um, it's literally a fucking party. For me. Any creature raving within in the well. 60 feet <laughs> must make a DC 14 uh, constitution, uh, constitution saving throw or be blinded for one minute. Oh, so that's, you know, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Let's, Phase is uh, good. 19. 15. 19. You're fine. 15? Uh, you're good. Const- constitution? Yes. Uh, Varian got uh, 25, and Winter got 30. Okay, wow. great. You guys, <laughs> none of you are, none of you are blinded. It's just a dance party down here. We all know how to party. While emitting light, the strobing fungus fungus can't attack. Okay, so um, next one, if I keep it going, it's not going to, it can't attack you guys, but it is dancing right now. Uh, Winter. Winter. Uh, Winter's going to do what Winter does, and uh, Plant was angry, so it's going to, he's going to move forward. Uh, drop Vitor's forehead hammer into his hands and go whack whack. Okay. So, uh, nothing, nothing too special. Just unslings the beautiful forge hammer, which is that sort of crystalline ice-headed axe mm-hmm. or war hammer, rather, and uh, swing with it. And rolling at one. <laughs> oh fuck me, this poor guy. Followed Guys, by... this was supposed. To, this is not supposed to be a, a devastating. One of them oh, at but... least ran away. <laughs> by, by a by a sixteen. Sixteen. Um, does that hit? Uh, it does. Oh sweet! Finally something. Um, not much though. That's six points of bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage. Um, you can smite. I could, but I have a feeling that that might be more relevant later. Okay, six points. All right. It, it's just a plant. He he doesn't feel super intimidated. He's just kind of going. It's a beefy plant. Just so oh, you're aware, I... it it had like a hundred and thirty hit points. Yeah. It's That's a beefy. It. It's a beefy boy. 
It'll take a little while to get through, but we'll get through it. It's cool. It's cool. Um, we'll well, we're gonna we're gonna go through winter. We're gonna have this uh, other mushroom here. Oh, it hasn't. No one's close to it. I don't believe no one is close to it. No one is attacking it. This other fungus is more just like a reacting, like like I may I've made it like a one of those automatic light sensors. <laughs> so something came down in its face, and it's like. Um, I, I just think like that, he huh? just, he's just going to chill. Yeah. Just like that. He's going to chill right now. And we're going to, we're going to move on to the garlical who is right beside Damascus. And, um, Don't we're going to see, I'll keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> I make friends with the garlic. A little buddy. He's got, you notice that as it is, it kind of gets out of its little garlic patch. It's got like a walking stick. It's old man. Oh, He's got a beard. No. I'll risk my and, life uh, for you. Stay behind me. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna roll for that. You're like stay behind me. Oh, high or low? Uh, low. Okay. It's um. What it's going to do is going to go, maybe I can help you. And it's going to pull some cloves from its head. And it's going to, it's going to roll, like kind of shake, like rug, jiggle them like they're dice and then kind of throw them at you. And um, let's see. It, you're saying that it's an ally. You're going to have plus one on this roll. Okay. And okay. enemies are going to have negative one on this roll. So anything that's within 30 feet right now is going to uh is going to roll a d6 i think hang on a d4 no that doesn't make sense yes okay go roll me a d4 everybody that's in that within 30 feet of that let me see uh, that is the rot brooch is gone it ran away so that would be uh the vines which will have negative one and the strobing funnus and the gloom flower okay I think Gilly too. Yeah. And Gilly. Gilly's yeah. yeah. Uh, it, you have a plus one to this roll. Nice. D4. four. I got, so I got a three. You got a three. Okay. Got so a four total. He's about to read your fortunes. Ooh. Okay. So uh, with your three, you have a favorable fortune. And Excellent. You have advantage on your next attack roll. What did you get, Daniel? You got a four? Four total. You have good fortune. Uh, the you you regain five hit points, two d four hit nice. points. Um, and if you want, I'll let you save that. If you if you haven't been hurt, uh, let's see now. Oh fuck, the 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 vines. They got a two, which is adverse. So it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. The flower also got a two. No, that's a one. That's bad fortune because it's minus one. So it takes 10 poison damage and must succeed on a four, uh, DC 14 constitution saving throw or be poisoned until its next turn. Nice. Let's see here. It cannot be poisoned. So nothing will happen. Is it immune to poison? It's immune to being poisoned and it's resistant. So we'll make it, we'll make it roll. It got a nat one. So really, I'm just going to give it the full effect here, but not nice. the poisoned condition. Uh, and it'll just take 10 damage. I love our little garlic friend. Um, friend. And then uh, there Thanks, are two more Tana. that have the one. That's a one for that flower, too. Um, flower hasn't done anything yet, though. Should we do it? Should I do it, guys? Should I do it to the flower? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do okay. It to the flower. The flower, flower is going to take damage. Let's see here. It's going to take 10 damage and be poisoned. Can it be poisoned? Yes. Okay. 10 damage. Uh, let's see here. And the there is one last thing there. Uh, four, which means that's a three for the dancing strobing fungus, which is a favorable fortune and has advantage on his next attack roll. He helped you. 
a lot. Thanks, old Tom. Um, Appreciate it. He healed by one hit point of damage. You, you seem like a nice boy. <laughs> I love him. Can we take him with us? <laughs> Get another um, NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next is going to be that flower that just took damage. Uh-oh. And when it takes damage, each creature within 10 feet must succeed on a wisdom saving throw as it screams in your head. No. So, who's within 10 feet? I think Me. I'm I'm going to say just the strobing is. fungus and you. Okay, cool. And the garlicle. Garlicle's 15. No, 15. 15. Okay, just Damascus and... And that strobing fungus. Strobing fungus is fine. It's, yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, two is 14. 14, yeah. Okay, you're good. You're fine. It's Ew. all good. Cool. Fuck me, the guys. This I did not think this would be like an actual like time stopper. Uh, uh it's gonna do. Just yes. so you know, I used a lucky. I used a lucky on that one because I rolled an app one the first time. Oh my goodness! He's oh sick. my goodness! It's yeah, gonna, just, just about it's gonna do something called corrupting visions. So, uh, each creature within sixty feet of the of the flower is gonna make a DC fourteen wisdom saving throw. Can everyone do that? Within 30 feet of the floor? 60. Oh, yep. I passed. That's my literally fifth nat 20 this session. Damn! Okay. I'm going to buy a lottery ticket tomorrow. Those are good right? dice. Okay! Faisa. Uh, that is oh. a... Let's see here. I'm going to roll for the, for the garlicle right now. He's fine. Perfect. We're gonna Thank roll. God. We're gonna it's roll to for your vines. The vines are fine. Fraser rolled a four. She's more than sixty feet away from it, is she not? No. No. Okay. From well, which, so which one is this? The flower? Nope. Uh, it is the uh. Yeah, it's the flower. Actually, yeah. I lied. She's forty, 40. feet away from it. The strobing fungus gets a seventeen, so it's fine. The death cap gets a nat one. The death cap is not fine. It's it's okay. So Faza and the death cap are uh god damn it guys are actually <laughs> this by the way this this stuff this flower understands all languages and all creatures and but uh but it can't speak. It just has tele 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 I can't fucking talk today. That's Anyways, happy okay. mind talky. Yes. For the next minute, this creature, the creatures that hailed, are bombarded with it, their fears and anxieties, and take oh, no. um, take two d six psychic damage at the start of each of their turns. Must and they must spend its action to make one melee attack against a creature within five feet, other than the gloom flower or itself. Uh, the creature can't. Uh, make melee attacks or take its dodge action uh, if the if it can't do that uh, and um, it can re- repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns uh, on a success a creature isn't incapacitated by hallucinations so yeah what's cool. the mushroom's greatest fears sunlight by the way if it's oh, in there yeah. for about a, a an hour it dies horribly that's good to know. So Wish the we had some that magic. one for that mushroom has just life. taken that mushroom oh. out of it, out of this fight as it is curled up on the ground, uh, rocking back and forth, very it's much in a mushroom. similar way to face up. Who oh, no. <laughs> Great. Right. Gilly. Okay. Gilly gets to do something now. Um I think this probably qualifies as a rage situation. Mm-hmm. Gilly's feeling very annoyed at all of these stupid plants that are being so mean. Um, okay, let me find my wild magic table. So I get to do a wild magic surge because I'm raging. 
Ooh, Let's find okay. out what happens. Five is... Okay, whenever a creature hits me with an attack roll before my rage ends, that creature takes 1d6 force damage as magic lashes out in rep- retribution. Nice. Okay. Okay, so that that's happening. And then I'm just going to get my trident and I'm going to... What am I going to attack? Let's see. Like I could you have the go... garlicle that's sort of helping you. There's this strubbing it's fungus, the, the gloom flower, or the uh, the vines. Okay, I'm gonna go vines because the strobing thing is not really messing anybody up, right? Right okay, now, no. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and attack the vines. Find my I'm I'm having to switch back and forth between all my stuff. Where's my trident? Where are we so at? Run over to these okay. vines. Plus nine. What? Oh, that's a, not a great roll. What is it? Eleven. Eleven. You will have advantage, though. Yeah, I can attack. Oh, yeah. You have. I have advantage. an advantage, and I can attack twice. So, mm-hmm. okay, so that's a seventeen. That hits. Oh, excellent. Okay, so then it's ooh, damage twenty six plus five. Five plus five, ten plus what's my rage bonus again? Two, I believe, right? I've plus been two? playing Barbarians Three. forever and I never remember. Plus two. So twelve damage. Twelve. Twelve damage. Good. Ah, okay, cool. You know. And then I can do it again. Okay. Eighteen plus so that hits. Y'all are going to find out in real time how fucking terrible I am at arithmetic. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's five. It's 11. 13. So 13 on the second okay. one. So I'm getting 14. my trident and I'm just like tangling it in. 14? It's plus Thank three. You. Plus three. Oh, is okay. it? Okay. You're, you're okay. raging. Yeah. Damn it. Thank okay. <laughs> the, the, the second one does not hit. Uh, you notice that, like, as you do that second hit um, and you ca- try and tangle it in there, it sort of seems to be able to uh, get through those, v- your uh, your tongs of it. Tongs or prongs? Whichever. Prongs. Through it as yeah. uh, very easily, as because it can get through very small spaces. This stuff is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It was the only thing that was actually hostile in here. <laughs> Um, and that will be uh, your turn. <clears throat> yes. Or no? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait, it, it's, yes. it's a hostile plant, right? It is a hostile plant. Yeah. Does that mean it's a hostile hosta? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll actually give you, I'll give you, um, inspiration for that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hostas are edible. <laughs> Fun fact. If you guys want to try and eat it, uh, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Maybe it'll make us anti-magic. I am. Worth a shot. Figure something out. Uh, uh, yeah. Damascus is going to move forward a bit. I think. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Actually, do I have to? Sorry, I just checked the range on something. Um... 30 feet. Nope, I can do it standing right where I is. Beauty. Uh, Damascus will lift his sword up in the air and go, Y'all like living in the dark and damp down here? Why don't we brighten the place up a little? And I'm going to use Dazzling Gleam. Okay. This is a burst of light. Each creature of my choice within 30 feet of me must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, they take 3d8 radiant damage and it's blinded until the end of their next turn. The vines rolled a nat 20. Oh. Uh, I got my reaction back. Silvery fucking barbs. It rolled a 2. Um, and that is... Okay, so that's that fails. Let's see here. The... Uh, what's that thing called? The death cap is gone. It's just dead. We're going to just say that it's hiding somewhere. Uh, the strobing fungus... Got a plus four. Really? Uh, it's got an 18. Okay. Uh, save. My save is 18. 
and the gloom flower got a two. So the stroke, you kind of like get out this dazzling gleam and begin to like pump to this this the the lights that it's doing and it's like yes <laughs> <laughs> we're basically having you... my dazzling gleam is basically glow sticks and we're having an electric yeah grave. you guys are like your 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 coat begins to gl- light up and like tron up and uh and you're just it it starts pumping to your meat it's like yeah still takes half damage uh, which is not terrible. Six and five is 11, plus two is 13 radiant damage. Aww. And that one takes half, which is six. When it takes half damage, you feel sadness because it 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 thought you were friends. Bro, that's, that's the one that attacked me. We ain't friends. <laughs> You it did it. 21 damage you, to me. You just started blasting. You scared it. It did 21 damage to me. Okay, so um, 20. So 12, so right? 12? 12 dam- 13 damage to everyone, 6 damage to the one that, that passed. And the ones that take full damage are blind until the end of their next turn. Okay. Uh, some of them can't be, but yeah. Uh, that's then... your turn? Bonus action, I will start flurry and I will connect flurry with my bonus action and my movement. Do I have to choose? That's you have to choose. To the they do not stack. Okay. Okay. Just checking. Then I will use my movement to flurry. Damascus has a uh, coat that if he flails around like a, he's some sort of bullfighter, flamenco dancer. Yeah. Or that, he gets extra armor. Nice. So, okay, so I'll um, do that. I will you do that. Also, um, when I cast silvery barbs, I get to give somebody advantage. So I'm going to give that yes. to Faza to try and help her break out of her. Uh... It's for attack rolls. Nope. It's the next d20 roll they make. Okay, cool. Uh, the vines are next. And um, it's going to make. It's gonna it's gonna do what it does best, and it's a whole bunch of these um, thorns, poisonous thorns, begin to shoot out in a thirty foot cone. And each creature in that area must make a DC fifteen Constitution saving throw. So the thirty foot cone is going to be. It's going to hit. It's gonna hit Gilly. It's gonna hit the Gloom Flower. No. It's gonna hit Damascus. Oh no. I only got a four. You got a four. Okay, so you're gonna take some damage. Damascus, what did you get? Sorry, what did I have to roll? Uh constitution saving girl. Sorry. Uh twenty. Twenty. Okay, so you will take half <laughs> of thirty-five damage. And you'll Oof. take thirty-five uh poison damage. And the gloom flower dies as it takes that as well. Because it just got... I love that no one has an allegiance down here and they're just killing each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How's it can, that has to be recharged. So don't, like... The big stuff that they've used has to be, like, they have to roll a five or a six to use it, so... Um, How's no no? No, no is hiding behind this massive rock, okay, and fine. Just making sure. Yeah, he's good. He's fine. Okay. Uh, let's let's fuck a ref, a variant. Fuck. <laughs> Doesn't get easier, does it? No. <clears throat> So that piece of shit pile of vines is still in front of me, and uh, Winter missed it a few times, right? Yeah. However, I know for a fact that my magic doesn't do much to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait! Hmm? That thing has to take 1d6 of damage because it hit me. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Think. We'll do oh. that. Sorry. Five. Okay, it takes five damage. Carry on. It's actually looking pretty rough right now. It well, like half 
like halfway more than actually so you're well, starting to break branches and shit i suppose i'll move over here okay because I, I don't want to be more than 10 feet away from winter but like i also don't want to be f would this put me five feet from the plant because it's, it's large right mm -hmm. uh, uh yeah um then I'll I'll stay where I was. As I I can see around winter. Yes. And I am going to cast Ray of Frost. Um so you cast Ray of Frost and and it and, and nothing nothing happens to it. It just kind of like shakes off whatever you're about to do. Oh. I it's a, it, it doesn't Oh, damn. Cold cold damage. damage. <laughs> These freaking vines. Yeah, they're they're didn't expect this fight to be this but like yeah. and so many things are just leaving yep. it's like no, we this, were fine this 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 one plant has been the opposite of all of my shit it's yeah. anti-magic immune to cold like resistant to slashing re, re, yeah. like winter is just missing it like it's been a bad time <laughs> yeah shit guys okay um <laughs> fuck this whole fight phase up We'll make her save. Oh, wait. Uh, that flower's dead. I'm going to say she's probably fine, right? I would think so. I'm going to say she's even fine. Even if she's not, even if she's not, she rolled a 19 plus 2. With yeah, save. she's good. Thanks. She's good. She's good. Uh, that's the end of her turn, though. So next is back to this strobing thing that's like, why'd you hit me, bro? Um... I think, let's see, it's not doing anything to keep uh, strobing. So it'll stop. And it's going to make two attacks. Oh, shit. And it's going to hit Damascus back for hitting it. Stop it. <laughs> for a 23 um, and a 15. I use my armor now. 15 Jeez. Okay, so you take 13 acid damage. Uh, wait, Faze is gonna throw, she's alive again. She can throw her shield at me. Okay, cool. Okay, you're me. fine. It just, it throws some acid at you like, hey man, we were, I thought we were having a moment. That's, Here's that's kind of the like feeling you get. Winter. I need to hit it, and I need to hit it hard. <laughs> Smash it! It's going to... Ah. Paladin smash. Um, sixteen to hit and a twenty-four to hit. Perfect, both hit. Cool. Damage was. I uh, I'm gonna say he was swinging two-handed. Okay. So that's d tens. Yep. Oh my goodness! I need to find my d ten. They're there. That'll do. That'll do better. I'm really enjoying the feel of these dice. <laughs> 19 points of damage. He smashes off like a couple branches um, and it's looking pretty rough. That's the, That's the end of his turn. That's the end of his turn. The garlicle will be like Let's see. Let's see if he gets it back. Cloves of fate. He gets it back. He's going to take off his so a few more cloves and just kind of shake them and throw them at you. And um, everybody roll a d4. Plus one, right? Plus one. Yeah, you're you're an ally. It gets two. So that thing gets a two, which means that it has to do disadvantage on its next attack rolls. Okay. You got a five, which means that you have the best fortune, and the next target that you hit is a critical success. Oh, nice. Al's yes. Oh, thanks, what's... Ultima. Well, sorry, I, I rolled a four, so it's... Okay, so you get a five, and that's the same thing for you. Dang! Damn. I got your, a three. Tar... Yeah, okay, cool. You got a three. Your next attack has advantage on it. Excellent. I love the garlic man. 
And if you make notes of that, I'll let you keep that for the next, your next fight as well, if you don't use it. So, he's like, oh, you got this, old, you got this, youngins, and uh, he'll, we'll go to Gilly. Okay, uh, riding at the branch again, doing my thing. Ah, ah. All because gotcha Damascus one. was like, I got you. My got first you. attack, <laughs> completely <laughs> whiffed. Yeah, with advantage? What? Uh, oh, advantage. yeah, with advantage? Okay. Six. What's sixteen plus nine? Oh, you hit. Twenty. Okay. It was twenty-five. Lovely. Then two plus. What's the plus five? Seven plus three. Ten damage for the first one. Is that eleven? Ten. Two plus five. Seven plus. Ten. Ten. Right. Ten. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. I, got, <laughs> I heard something else. Uh, go. Okay, and then 19, but it's, that hits, and then... Oh, same thing. 10 again. Okay. Oh, God, this thing is like... <laughs> this thing, wait. It has... So it's 10? What am I doing? Stop touching things, Jessica. <laughs> it's a 20 total, uh, but with resistance. So another 10. It has... Guys, it has literally five hit points left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, Screw this how bush. Smart are you? How smart are you? How smart are you? You're not smart at all. You're going to fight to the death. Okay. Um, Damascus? How's uh, my little glow, pal- glow plant friend looking? Oh, it, it's um, it's, it's, it's healthy, but it's sad. Convince it to leave now. You made me feel bad about that. it. Can't, it, it can't leave. It's stuck there. I want to yeah. make convince it to stop attacking me. Convince um, it that we will leave. It it yeah. understands all languages. Okay. okay. I say sorry about that. Sorry about that, buddy. I just uh, tried to shine the light, same as you. Because uh, it bounced off the walls in this cave a little more than I was expecting. Would you like to make a persuasion? I always want to make a persuasion. I'm an eloquence bard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an 18 on the dice for a uh, 31. Okay. It glows this really bright color. Um, just like this blue as it flashes a bit more. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say that you two can hold your crits. Okay. For whatever you attack next, and it it just unleashes a stream of acid onto those branches, yeah, and, right. and kills them. <laughs> and uh, the garlicle looks at you and he goes, he "Really, just likes to pr- shine bright lights and try and make people happy, but no one ever comes down here anymore." <laughs> well. Aww. I appreciate that for him. I'm going to cast Minor Illusion on this little rock right here as my action then. Okay. And make bright lights in like a glowing pattern on the rock. Nice. Next to him. It, it's flashing again. It's, it's super happy. You guys are out of combat. I'm going to make a note for our next fight that you two, you guys still have crits. Um, Lovely. <laughs> Let me add this. Uh, let's add a note. I'll do that afterwards. Uh, I, I also make a promise to this Garlico that uh, we, we will reintroduce the youth of this town to the uh, Grotto of Lights. We'll make sure that, I appreciate that. that. <laughs> and tell him to stay away from the rock roach. <laughs> no, he's not so bad. If they, they don't, don't bother rocks. him. Okay, perfect. They don't eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they actually do only eat rocks. Um, and and you apple. guys, we're going to call it there as you have successfully cleared out this cavern. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> from this fight, I did not expect to be this bad. Uh, <laughs> GG. It didn't GG. Turn out that bad. It wasn't bad. It was just complicated. Yeah. And like, in, like, yeah they... in like a good way. We had to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh. We'll we'll see you guys next week. 
while you continue to explain, explain, explore. Fuck words tonight. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Farewell. While we continue Bye, to everybody. explain we'll that we will explore further. Yes. Mm-hmm. See you next week. Uh, I do we want to like sign off the way? Oh we yeah. Do. I'm the sneeze of stars. I'm I sneeze stars and I can't talk today. So someone else talk now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me at the speed of candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I have been Damascus Silver, the half elf bard warlock, who really kind of is considering taking the guard look no no with him. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. He's adorable. Pocket. Uh, Pocket guard. Yeah. He just sit in the Come backpack. With. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, I've got a sack with some apples. You can eat the apples. Uh, <laughs> James. Hey, that's me. I'm James. And tonight I played Varian Arbor. Um, our smarmy storm sorcerer stuck in our much more taciturn and slow talking our of days arcs, human druid. Um, it's body. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun time. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, if you want to hang out with us even more during the off hours and catch other amazing shows, come to the Discord, which the link is in chat. Uh, Gilly. Oh, and I am Imaginary Caro on TikTok. I was playing Gilly, and I got to fight for the first time. Excellent. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. Hopefully I can Bye. talk then. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God.